The training experience you never saw coming. The official training bike of the Tour de France, the 2015 Proform TDF. With an extra large HD display plus a 20% incline and decline, your training will climb to new heights. Only the TDF comes with iFit, powered by Google Maps. So your ride will be unlike anything you've ever experienced. Go to Proform.com now and get the TDF for zero down plus free shipping. The Game of the Week on the Valley Channel is brought to you by Icon Health and Fitness, changing lives with fitness innovation. Wendy's of Cache Valley, it's way better than fast food, it's Wendy's. Mountain Star Cache Valley Hospital, not bigger, just better. Lewiston State Bank, strong and vibrant for over a century. Cache Valley Electric, a tradition of excellence since 1915. New Smile Dental, experience dental care. Camp Chef, the way to cook outdoors. Cash Valley Hearing and Audiology, bring back what you've been missing. LSS Insurance, personalized insurance coverage for your family and business. Lynn's Audio and Video, Cash Valley's Audio and Video Specialist. The Book Table, your family's bookstore for music, toys, and much more. Planet Fitness of Logan, no gym intimidation and only 10 bucks a month. Top of Utah Spas, check out the affordable Max Spas. The Logo Shop, we logo stuff, all kinds of stuff. And the Valley Channel, Cash Valley's TV station for over 25 years. You were undefeated up until last week. What happened? Um, you know, we didn't play our best. We've got a few guys out, and, um, you know, things just didn't go our way. We didn't get the calls we needed down the stretch. Um, we needed a few things to happen, but we were still one play away. You know, we make one play, and we win the game. Now, how is the health of your team? Um, we're working on it. We're still a few, week, few weeks away from having everybody, everybody back. Um, but, you know, that's, having those guys back is more important for region right now. So. Now, who should we keep an eye out on the field? You know, we got a couple good running backs. Um, you know, we're, our quarterback, our third string quarterback, played pretty well last week. So he's someone to watch for. And, you know, we've got a pretty good receiver out there, too. Okay, thank you. You're undefeated. How do you plan to stay that way? <laughs> Score more points than them. That's our whole goal tonight. You know, I think it really comes down to just playing hard, um, having fun tonight. It's a, it's a great way to test ourselves, and it doesn't hurt us in region play or anything like that. So we're really excited for this game tonight. Now, how is the health of your team? Really good. Uh, I think we're as healthy as we've been in the last few weeks. Uh, Mason Ty has been bruised up a little bit, our running back, but he's feeling really good. And so are the other athletes that have been bruised up. So we're feeling really good for this game today. And who should we keep an eye on out on the field? Uh, there's a lot of guys you can keep an eye on. Um, I think our offensive line has been producing really well. And uh, I think those are the key to our success is our old line. Okay, thank you. Thank you. This is Brad Stone along with John Newbold here in Smithfield tonight. Marquee matchup, one of the top games in the state. Unbeaten Skyview, one of seven unbeaten clubs in the Beehive State against the 5-1 Brighton Bengals. A team out of Salt Lake City of the East Bench coming off a 41-39 loss against the Jordan Bee Diggers. And uh, I'll tell you what, this is going to be electric. Great crowd tonight for a sky view. There's still some room, so if you're in the vicinity, drop on by. We'd uh, love to have you tonight. John, so much hype and hoopla about this game. The Bobcats coming off that route of Northridge 63-21. What do you expect tonight? Well, the Bobcats, they need to bring their A game and complete game like they did last week at Northridge, Brad. They've got to come out, set the tone early like they've done in games, and just not go back to cruise control, but keep pushing the pedal to the metal. I mean, the, it's going to be Skyview's execu execution, their bigger bodies, against a very, very talented 
Brighton squad and their athletes. I, Bobcats need to stay fundamentally sound to have a chance to beat Brighton tonight. So we'll have to watch that kind of matchup tonight with the athletes that Brighton has. Skyview this season has got a fast start in every game. And they put people on their heels and having to come from big margins to even climb back in ball games. That has forced teams to pass, and with this relentless, stout front four, particularly they get after the quarterback, and a start like has been their tendency, I think Coach Ander would be elated if that happens tonight. Well, he definitely would, but this is the kind of challenge that Coach Ander wanted when he scheduled this game with Brighton, he wanted his players to have this kind of opportunity to go up against a, 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 a team like Brighton, to have the tradition that they have, to have that go up against those kind of athletes, and they'll get that opportunity tonight. But the Bobcats, they just need to keep doing what they're doing, and if they do that tonight, and maybe they jump on Brighton, maybe Brighton just says, hey, we're on the road, let's just get out of here, get back into region play. Uh, if they can do that and get out to that lead and, and maybe make Brighton think about it, then when you're thinking that's a bad thing as a team, you want to just be able to go and fly around. Tonight's game, KLGN Radio, and the Bengals will receive. And so Brad Stone and John Newbold, it's got a playoff feel. And if it shakes out, who knows? Expect the unexpected, but these two teams very well could hook up down the road, maybe even at Rice Eccles Stadium. But uh, that's a little premature, but it's nice to speculate. Yeah, it definitely is. And it will be a good chance for Skyview being in 5A for the first time. They've done well in region thus far, but this is an opportunity to face some teams outside a region that's a 5A team in Brighton. See how you match up. See what you need to do to prepare for the playoffs because when you go out of region and play those guys and you're seated the way you are, that's what you want to see where your team is at. So a good opportunity for Skyview tonight. The Bengals rank third in the state in the Deseret News, fifth in the Trib. For the Bobcats, they're second in the Trib, seventh in the D News. So this is going to be a battle of uh, heavyweights, highly ranked teams. The Bobcats, boy, I tell you, their uh, winning margin, 29 points a game, is second in the state. They average 40. Their defense, second in the state, 11 points a game. And so we expect uh, just a heck of a tussle, and we're glad you could join us. KLGN, our video game of the week available tomorrow. And uh, we're looking forward to that on CashValleyDaily.com. Yeah, that's right. And one of the things, too, is even if you jump out, if you're Skyview to uh, and you score a lot of points, remember, this is a Brighton team that went up against Jordan and lost by two. They scored 49 points. They can put up points as well. So we're excited to watch this game along with all of you and uh, just Grateful that you're listening to us here on KLGN. And tonight's game brought to you in part by Locker 42. And check them out tomorrow. It's the whiteout, the Aggies and CSU. John? So back there for uh, Brighton, I, I thought it would, might be Fajoko, but it's Permain and also Jackson Kafusi for the Brighton Bengals. Kafusi, that's a name uh, <laughs> that is well known in the Beehive State. One of those Kafusi brothers played in the National Football League, at least one. Kyler Erickson will kick. Bobcats in their light blue jerseys, white pants, white helmets. The Bengals in white uh, jerseys, black pants, black helmets. Bobcats will go right to left across your radio dial. The weather could be a factor. We're hoping that uh, things hold off. A lot of rain in Provo and Salt Lake today could be moving our way, but so far so good and a great crowd on hand and we're ready for tonight's kickoff. Thanks for checking us out tonight, Brad Stone and John Newbold. And that ball that is fielded by Permain. Permain is stopped shy of the 25 yard line. Good special teams work. And that's been a real key for the Bobcats this season and starting linebacker Riley Hatterley in on that tackle. So again, we'll be watching with the Brighton Bengals. You'll have to watch their All-American uh, Fajoko, the receiver. He's got a ton of speed. You've got to keep him in front of you. And then their good running back, Sione Lund. Over 700 yards on the ground, eighth in the state. Andrew Covey, Britton Covey's second cousin, is the quarterback. 
Here is Covey with the run, has some space, broke free. Good offensive line blocking, and he gets about five yards. And number two in on the play for the Bobcats. We're going to be calling his name a lot tonight, and that's J.R. Martindale. Yeah, that was a good push by the offensive line of Brighton. There's a hole there, and Covey just took the snap, went on the side, and got some positive yards. All right, the Bengals. Lund is the back. Flake now to Covey's left. Two receivers near side, one to the left. Interior run, had a couple of yards, and then, boy, the Bobcats converged in a hurry by committee. Yeah, everyone was there for the Bobcats on the tackle that time. Short gain, maybe two yards. Christensen, Durant, Maiden, and Pitcher. That stellar front four linebackers, Martin, Dale, Bowman, and Hatterley, and a proven secondary. And Alex McCray with four picks back there, number three. So uh, we'll see when they try to throw it to Fahoko. They're all state receivers, 6'5", going to Stanford. In the gun, nice fake. And boy, he is blasted, and I, it's going to be I, close. He may be short. I think he's short by about half a yard. I think that was made in that time. And I'll tell you, he's really stepped up his play. Six feet, two and a quarter, Jamison Maiden. So fourth and short. They might call for the chains. The coach of the Bengals in his 10th year, Ryan Bullitt, 60, 46, and one, the overall mark. Last year, his team went 10 and two, lost in the state semifinals. Yeah, he's half a yard short. I, need, I think that they started the possession at the 23. They needed to get to the 33. They're at about 32 and a half. So it brings up a fourth and about half a yard. I know Coach Bullitt thought about it, but with this Skyview defense, and you give Beach and company the ball with that kind of field position, well, you that gotta, more than likely would mean points. Yeah, sorry, Brad. you got to make sure they punt it and don't run into the kicker. McCray and Phillips back. Kick is a good one. Bounces. Oh, my. A Brighton bounce. Skipping, and that's going to be inside the five. Rolls dead at the one-yard line. Well, then Skyview uh, players, they let it bounce at the 30, and it rolled 29 yards. It's a 68-yard punt to start things out and totally flips the field in favor of Brighton. Man, oh man, Coach Bullitt will take that anytime. So many keys in football, and right off the bat, a punt that if the Bengals can hold, would give them great field position. So the Bobcats have to be real careful here. Yeah, you don't want to get a hold in the end zone. That's an automatic safety. Of course, you watch. Andrew will come out, Beach will go deep. Stack to the right of Beach. What a quarterback for the Bobcats. The seniors just been outstanding. 69% completion percentage, 18 touchdown passes, third in the state. Beach has it, gives it up the middle. Actually had a fake, what a beautiful fake by Beach. Has a first, has more than that. He's just outside the 25. Yeah, he faked it to Danes on the read option. He made the right read, busted out to the right side. A lot of green out there. Gets from the one up to about the 35-yard line, 25-yard line, excuse me, is where he went out of bounds, and they'll mark him a 24-yard run for Beach on the read option. Faked out at least uh, one broadcaster. Beautiful fake by Beach. And he can run the football. There's no doubt about that. Little flair. Nice catch. That's Morrison. Broke a tackle, dives out of bounds at the 35. That's going to be close to another Skyview first down. Yeah, the way that Morrison was able to get out there is because of the great blocking by uh, Bryce Mortensen out there on the DB of Bright, and he blocked him and gave his uh, teammate 10 yards on the pass play. So we've got two of the premier, if not the two best wide receivers in the state. Mortensen, Skyview, Fahoko for the Bengals. Beach fakes, Jamal Danes spun away, might have a yard, yard and a half. Yeah, that time Beach gave it up and uh, Danes only gains one up the gut. Let's give that old line some credit. Wes Anderson, Colton Durant, Jeffrey Berryhill, and the two Tuluas, Derek and Helaman. Trips to the right, kind of that stack formation. Haven't seen Mason tie. Wondering about that. He had a huge game last week. Beach 
A little bit of pressure. They've got him. Oh boy, he is knocked down, and that's a pick. He put it up. Pear Main has the pick, and he's at about the 35 yard line. Yeah, Beach was in the pocket. The protection broke down. He kept waiting, waiting, and he threw just as he got plowed by a Brighton defender, and that ball just hang, hung up there in the air, and Pear Main picked it off at the 50 yard line and returned it about 10 yards. They mark it at the 36. Good pressure that time. And they've got a couple of great defensive ends. Max Miner, 6'2", 210. And Doug Poamalau, 6'2", 195. And he's got five sacks on the season. So Covey brings him out. Mahoko flanked near side. Here is the handoff. And boy, he is hit. And that didn't take long. That's Riley Hatterley, number one of the Bobcats. Yeah, Lund at that time didn't have anywhere to go. He hit him right off the edge, untouched, and maybe gained a yard. He did. They're to mark it at the 35 of Skyview. Last season, Lund had the luxury of having Osa Messina in the backfield, a big bruiser who could block with the best of them. Oh, and he's playing at USC. Thank you very much. That kind of gets your attention, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. All right, clock shows eight minutes left. Opening quarter, this is KLGN Radio, Friday Night Lights, I'm Brad Stone, joined by John Newbold. Thanks to our producer, Diana Young. And thanks to you for joining us. Two receivers right, one in the slot. Covey, and we've got our first penalty of the ball game. Nope. Thank Time you. out, okay. And we will step aside in 30 seconds. We're back, KLGN Radio. Over the period of time, my hearing became worse and worse. Over the course of the years, I developed a, a hearing loss, and I would not be able to hear my employees talk to me sometimes. For Paul Dings and Cash Valley's integrity, his character, his background, his equipment, I would recommend him to anyone for a hearing aid specialist. Bobcats football on Light FM. Yeah, great to have you along on this Friday night. Boy, uh, low clouds and uh, good chance of showers, but uh, according to our Doppler radar, thunderstorms expected about 9.30, but then again, you know that uh, Mother Nature always has the final say. So the Bengals had the first possession. They had uh, a punt that went 68 yards, pinned the Bobcats back. Beach, a great nifty run of 24 yards after a beautiful play fake. And then the interception, good pressure by the Brighton D. Bengals have it at the Skyview 35 facing second and nine. In motion Lund, Covey to throw. Covey heaves it and he has a man and it's caught inside the five. Actually under through that receiver came back for the ball. They're in the red zone, they're in Skyview territory deep, smelling the goal line. Yeah, that time the, the officials let that one go. That was a wounded duck. Fajoko pushed off on the defender but he made the catch and no call, so they're down inside the five to about the four yard line. The All-State wide receiver averaging 26 yards per reception, and that was a big one. And they're knocking at the door, looking to draw first blood, clock at 740. Fajoko split far to the right, to the near side of the field. Here's our first penalty of the game, and we'll see who will be flagged for that. Well, I don't see a penalty flag, but they did stop it, so we'll see what they have to say. Tonight's game being brought to you in part by Lewiston State Bank. They sponsor our player of the game. Illegal procedure against the Bengals. That'll back them up five yards. And also thanks to Lauer Foods in Richmond. Think Lauer's for all your pre-cooked meat products. Another big game tonight in region. And two top-ranked uh, teams in the top 15. Mountain Crest unbeaten against the Roy Royals, a team that Skyview will see this coming Thursday night. 
So please make your plans and join us right here, home of the Bobcats, KLGN. John, what do you think so far? Well, so far the Bobcats, they gave up the one big play and that's what uh, that's what Brighton does. They're big play teams, so the Bobcats gave one up. Okay, so they call it second and nine. Here is the run. Beautiful play, Riley Hatterley. Are they going to get him for totting? Well, yep, personal foul on Skyview. Man, it was a great play by the linebacker. Oh, I think it was a late hit. There was someone came that came in late on there. I don't think it was on Hatterley. It was a Skyview player that came in late. I'm thinking that's what the penalty will be. I don't think that it was for celebrating because that would be an unsportsmanlike conduct. The official came in right away and said personal foul. So it'll be half the distance. And that's going to put the ball think about the four-yard line from my vantage point. The Bobcats and the Brighton Bengals. Clock runs as we approach the seven-minute mark. Skyview fakes a blitz. Here's the handoff. Lund, and he stops shy of the goal line. Aggressive pursuit by the Skyview defense. That's been their mode of operandi. Yeah, gained about a yard on that one. Lund goes 6'2", 210, over 700 yards on the season. That's good for eight in the state. We have a score update from Roy. Looks like uh, Roy takes the early lead 7 to nothing with 533 in the first quarter over Mountain Crest. Third and goal at the three-yard line. Bengals looking to put uh, some points on the board and draw first blood. Got a stoppage of play. Time for another powwow. That'll give me a chance to uh, mention that tonight's game being brought to you in part by Preston Watts Auto Body and Collision. Two locations, Logan and Smithfield. 7-5-3-5-1-5-2, they do it right. Illegal procedure against the Bengals. Well, so a couple of flags on this drive. Yeah, sorry to interrupt, Brad. I was just going to say that official, it's been the same official that's called it. So if I was uh, Brighton, I would ask for an explanation just to see. Because I'm not seeing anyone jump, so it seems like it's like the, maybe the center moving the football or, you know, something like that to draw Skyview offsides. Well, I don't know. Great crowd here tonight in Smithfield. One of the biggest games in the state, bar none. Watch Fajoko out here. He is something else. And with that 6-5 frame, too. Here's the run, tries to get the corner. He's going to be short of the end zone. Hatterley. Boy, what an impact he's had so far. Now, and Fajoko got rolled up on. He was blocking over there, and Covey got rolled up into him. Hopefully, he's okay. They've... Right, and that's one of the things they've been injured all season, banged up, and you kind of do throughout the season. You know, when they've played a lot of ranked teams themselves in 5A, so you go up against the big boys, there's a lot of bruises this time of year, halfway through the season. He lost a yard, so the Bengals are going to go for a field goal. I think Coach Bullet showing a lot of respect for that Skyview defense. The kicker is John Michael Williams, a senior. Good snap, kick on the way, looks good, is good. Bengals on the board, it's 3-0, and we're back in 30 seconds, KLGN Radio. Welcome back, KLGN Radio. I'm Brad Stone, joined by John Newbold. And it's our TV game of the week as well. You can catch it this weekend on CashValleyDaily.com. All right, so the Bengals convert off the, Bar the Garrison Beach interception. A short field goal, 523. Time remains, first quarter. Bengals will kick it off. And we've got... Uh, a story to we want to pass on to Tom about one of the uh, Skyview 
special teamers who was uh, not playing today. We'll tell you why. Here is the return. Breaks it up across the 25. Good yeah. return. Yeah, that was Phillips returning the football for the Bobcats. He's the new return man for the Bobcats. Braxton Ward, who's had that uh, duty all season long involved in a car wreck. He's on the mend, doing fine. And Braxton, if you're listening tonight, a speedy recovery. We're thinking about you. And Coach Ander wanted me to pass on that the team certainly, as you well know, concerned for you. And they want you back as soon as possible. So Nate Phillips having to fill in for Braxton Ward. We wish him well once again. All right, Bobcats after turning it over on that, that first possession. 5-16, we're in the opening quarter. Marquee matchup in the Beehive State. Now ties back there this time for the Bobcats. Yeah, they started out with Jamal Danes. Yeah, penalty marker before the plays goes live. Fault start on Skyview. Saw a few of those the last couple weeks on Skyview. Last week against Northridge, Beach put up 27 of 34 completions. Great percentage on the season at 69%. Last week, 245 yards and five touchdowns. Mortensen had two, one for McCray, and Holbrook, the slot receiver, had two. So they've got a great core of receivers. Mason Ty, and he is met and stuffed. And you don't see that very often. Man, oh man. Yeah, he didn't have a chance to get going. As soon as he received the handoff, he's tackled, wrapped up, and thrown back to about the 15. So we'll have to see where they actually give him forward progress. They give him to the 19, so he got back to at least there. But yeah, he went nowhere. Tautioli, a D lineman, 6 feet, 220, and boy, he met Ty at the pass. Now they give it to Mason again. Plows ahead. Going is tough down there. This um, Brighton defense that gave up 51 points in a two-point loss against Jordan last week. But they're rising to the occasion so far. And that pressure on Beach forced the interception. And now they force the Bobcats into a third and 16. In the opening quarter, 4.15, time left. Tie comes off, and the Bobcats are forced to take a timeout. And we will, in addition, back in half a minute on Light FM. Becoming established doesn't happen overnight. It isn't awarded by one single act. Being established comes from a lifetime of holding on to what is most important, even when it is most difficult. Being established doesn't mean doing what's always been done. It means doing what's right. Lewiston State Bank, established in 1905, established for your future. Big third and 16. Bobcats have trips to the right. Empty backfield. Almost drew him offside. O-line needs to do their, their work and give Beach some more time. With uh, a wide array of receivers, and he's been spreading the wealth all year. Fires, caught by Holbrook, and he is knocked down well short of a first down. Hard hit by number 21, and that's Drew Jensen. And he's uh, going to be playing football for Bronco Mendenhall and the BYU Cougars. Yeah, so they get a short gain of six yards on the pass play to Holbrook. Okay, that's fourth and ten. Beach more than he's got to punt this. And we've seen it time and time again this season. So he's certainly capable, a little uh, rugby style. And see if he gets a bounce like the Brighton punter. That would be just what the doctor ordered. And he doesn't, just the opposite. That's a shank job. And it's fielded ball loose. Bobcats have it. Oh, the Brighton player made a big mistake. Yeah, I don't know what he was doing. He needed to get away from that. That's Kimball Reese, I believe. He grabbed it, it popped out of his hands, and he's looking like, what's going on? But he definitely touched it, and he muffed it. And the Bobcats recover in the 35. I don't know who recovered it for the Bobcats. 
Boy, that was uh, several Bobcats in the vicinity. Johnny on the spot, and they forced the miscue and get the ball right back. So uh, the miscues won a piece. Bobcats have it at their own 35. Beach, and now a penalty marker. Yeah, it was only about a 12-yard punt by Beach. I don't know if it was blocked in the backfield, but it definitely was a bad punt as it went up and ended up in the 40. Then it was muffed, and I think it's going to be a false start on Skyview. Knocking back to the 30. You can hear the Skyview faithful. Yes, you can. Think nerves have played a factor here? Well, no, I think it's Brighton, Brad. I mean, Skyview was doing okay until Beach got hit. Then it changed the whole play call. We said in our pregame they haven't faced much adversity at all this season. Mortensen broke a tackle. Nifty move along the sideline. Bryce leading the state in touchdown receptions with 10, averaging 17 yards. A reception, 6'6", 220, and a great blocker. And just, uh, he's going to be playing on Saturdays, no question. Yeah, the Bobcats, 13-yard gain that time to Mortensen on the little hook route. They get, if the Bobcats can get back into their offensive rhythm, then they might get, get back and get into the end zone. In motion, far side is Holbrook. Beach has it, Beach has room, Beach has a first. He's inside the 45. Garrison Beach lugging the leather. Yeah, great blocking downfield again by Bryce Mortensen. The one thing that you know that he's going to catch it, but he does so good downfield blocking for other receivers and then on the quarterback, uh, Reeds, he does so well as the Bobcats are in Brighton territory. Beach with a couple of big runs so far. Three minutes left. Penalty marker, and I think they drew the Bengals offside. Yeah, that Beach run was 15 yards to the Bengal 42, and then they'll get five more here on the offside. Tonight's game on KLGN brought to you in part by the Les Olson Company. Your copiers and printers are MVPs of your office. Help your team tackle their work. The Les Olson Company. First and five. Beach drops straight back and he is sacked off the edge. Coming hard, number nine, the backer, Jackson Kafusi. Yeah, Kafusi, great job. So quick off the edge. Beach just kind of ducked down. He's lucky he did or he gets plastered, Brad. Boy, that's uh, two, three hard hits on number 10. Kafusi, 64 tackles on the season. He had 14 last week in that 51-49 loss against the Jordan Beat Diggers. That'll bring up second and 13, 220 opening quarter. Light FM, Oklahoma Viewer Bobcats. Beach pressured and hit, got off the pass, and it's caught by Mortensen, they say he stepped on. Wow, Mortensen wasn't sure that he did. I don't know, he was right by the sideline. He got pushed, he kept his balance. It looked, <laughs> it's hard to tell from our vantage point. It's right in front of the Skyview uh, team, and so he must have stepped out barely on the chalk. Otherwise, he was going to the house, but a gain from the 45 up to the 36 of nine yards. And Beach got leveled. The yeah. Bengals doing anything different? Or they're just uh, bringing it with that front four. Uh, they've got actually it's a three-five-three. Three. Well, they've got the offensive line confused. I know that much. They've got uh, ten players right there close to the line of scrimmage. Garrison throws near side. Pass is caught by Holbrook. He's shy by a yard, Brad, on, and bring up a fourth down. Oh, do they give it to him? The official kind of signaled for a first but I think he's short I think he's short coach bullet across the way and I think uh, he's questioning that spot as well well where they're spotting I think he's short I do too maybe beach out to keep it again because when Ty had those back-to-back -back runs up the middle nothing doing we'll give a three-yard pass play to Holbrook say that it's 33 yard line it's really 32 and a half they need about half a yard, Brad. Okay, Bobcats in uh, quite the formation. They got it. Colton Interior run, yes, sir. Yeah, that was Colton Durant. That's the same play that and same formation they used uh, last week at Northridge to get the four-yard touchdown by uh, Durant. He just went right up the gut. 
gets to the 30 yard line, three yards by Duran. So his third carry, or second carry of the season. So he's got a total of seven yards on two carries. At 6'2", 280, he should. <laughs> Durantula, you gotta love it. That was a big first down for the Bobcats. Trailing three, nothing, Mortensen the catch, he almost broke it to the house. Yeah, he had Permain on coverage, one-on-one -on -one coverage, and he got inside on the slant pattern, inside the 15, they mark it at the 14, so a 16-yard pass play. So after that interception by Beach, he's thrown five com uh, completions in a row. O-line being tested with great pressure by this Brighton defensive line. Trips to the right, Garrison looks left. Beach fires, caught, and losing his footing. Yeah, the thing is, is Brian's getting back there enough. You could see Beach throw off his back foot that time. His internal clock as a quarterback's been changed. And so he's trying to rush things. He got rid of that quickly. We'll get it inside to the 14, so no gain on that pass play. Clock runs were inside a minute. Friday night football, it's week seven. Got a score update from Roy we'll give you after this next play. All right, John, thank you. Mason Ty behind Beach. Garrison fakes it and he's hit, he's short. Well, a short gain. Beach turned to the right to hand off. Ty went left and that messed up the timing, of course, as he thought he was going to be handing off. So they get back to the 15, a loss of one. But that score update, the Mountain Crest Mustangs have tied it up in the second quarter. So at Roy, it's 7-7. And coming off the field, the big uh, O lineman, I believe that's number 57. And that will put the wraps on the first quarter. This one living up to its billing. And the story of the game so far has been the Brighton defense. Bobcats trail for the first time all season. It's 3-0, end of one, and we're back. Right after this 30-second timeout. It's easy to buy insurance and forget about it, but the more you learn about your coverage, the more gaps you might find. Like how you thought you were covered for all this, when you're really only covered for this. Hot dog. Or how you may think you're covered for this, but not for this. Oh, no, no, oh, oh. For this, for this, or that. Talk to farmers and see what gaps could be hiding in your coverage. I haven't. We are farmers. Bum, 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 bum. Give us a call at 752-9493. You'll be glad you did. Three nothing, Brighton leads at Skyview, two top ranked teams. And the Bobcats, one of seven unbeatens left in the Beehive State. This is week seven, I'm Brad Stone, joined by John Newbold. John Stats, and your take on the first quarter. Well, Skyview, I've got them for 90 total yards and Brighton for 41, but Skyview, they just got into their offensive rhythm again. They started out okay, but then that interception when Beach got hit and popped up into the air, Brighton picked it off. That gave them the three points. They got in field goal range. That's where we're at. Skyview's gotten back into that rhythm, but they've got a big third down here. This drive started at the Bobcat 35-yard line. Two receivers right, trips and it is caught far side. Trying to get a number for you. Well, it was just far too out, too far outside. That was Holbrook on the catch. So a short gain will set up a field goal for the Bobcats. Saxton will hold. Kyler Erickson will attempt a 30-yard field goal. Certainly within his range. Very accurate kicker. Good spot. On the way, it is good. So a 30-yard field goal by Erickson. That knots our score, 3-3. And we're back right after this. Right now, when you join Planet Fitness, you get your first month free. Then pay just $10 a month. You'll get to work out in a clean, comfortable, judgment-free environment and always enjoy unlimited fitness training with your membership, all for just $10 a month. Join now in club or online at planetfitness.com and get your first month free. Planet Fitness, the judgment-free zone.
the Skyview Bobcats and the Brighton Bengals. Region one against region three, the Bengals five and one, coming off that 51-49 loss against Jordan last week. Preseason pick second behind the Bingham Miners. Bobcats been on a big time roll, winning by 29 points a game. They haven't faced a uh, defense like Brighton's brought this first quarter, I'll tell you that. Erickson, who just hit the field goal to tie the game. Touch back, bring it out to the 20. John, go ahead with more stats. Yeah, the, right there, you could see Skype got into the rhythm at the end of the quarter, though. That pass by Beach was just outside, and I wonder, again, like I mentioned, he's thrown off his back foot. That internal clock that a quarterback has, thinking they've got more time than they do. You know, he just threw it just a little bit outside. If Holbrook can stay on his feet, he may have had enough for the first down, but in it was a, a short gain, and then they kicked the field goal. You know, a lot of people were thinking maybe this could be a shootout, but uh, with that Skyview defense, well, Brighton's isn't bad. It could be low scoring. We'll see how it unfolds. Covey to throw, and he's going long, and he's got Fahoku. He's got it, and he is gone. He broke a tackle. See you later. 80 yards. Yeah, that was Udy that time that got beat for Skyview, and Fahoko got behind it. It's not the greatest of all throws by Covey, but he had enough space between him and the defender, Udy, and that's how Brighton does it. The big plays, you've got to force him to go the length of the field, make him do a time-consuming drive, but 80 yards later, fahoko has gone. And that is his eighth touchdown reception. And just outstanding. Last season, over 1,600 yards, a state record 24 touchdown catches headed to Stanford. He is the real deal. Here's the point after, and it is good. That makes our score Brighton 10, Skyview 3, 11-11 left, second quarter. Stay right where you are. We're back right after this. Don't think about Wendy's spicy chicken. Don't do it. Problem is, not thinking about that spicy goodness makes you think about it even more. So think of something else, like countries in Europe, France, Austria, Hungary. Hungary for spicy chicken. See, there's no escaping it. Don't pause for this stuff. And don't forget, kids get hungry too. Bobcats football, it's Friday Night Lights. Great crowd here in Smithfield this evening. And they're bundled up, and we expect some rain and thunderstorms likely. And we're keeping our fingers crossed that that's later. All right, an 80-yard strike. Covey to Fahoko. And boy, he uh, was off to the races. And he's a long strider with that 6'6 frame. Here's the kick. And it's short and it's fielded. Bobcats have it on special teams. Nate Phillips tripped up as he crosses the 25. And we've got another score in region one. I, all I've got, I don't have the score exactly, but end of the first quarter, Fremont is trailing Northridge by seven. Just don't have the score on that one. Okay, John, thank you. Tonight's contest on Light FM being brought to you in part by Bridgerland Applied Technology College and Larry's Pharmacy in Smithfield. And thanks to all of our sponsors. All right, so Beach brings him out, and he has been under duress. He's been sacked. He's had a pick. He's got a great arsenal of weapons, but so far this Brighton defense has been the story. Mason Ty with a little play fake. Beach kept it. Turned the corner and gets eight yards. Garrison having great success lugging the pigskin. Now that's been one of the things. He's had runs of 24 and 15. And then that one gets him up to the 35 for Skyview of nine yards. Coming in, he had 336 yards on the ground. So he's uh, got to be close to 400. Eight yards a crack. He's improving on that four touchdowns. And yeah, we've got uh, Coach Anders on the field, and uh, we've got a timeout. And he's Beach takes a seat. I think he might have got dinged a little bit. And that's the risk you take. Well, that would be huge for Skyview if they 
lose beats for any amount of time, let alone significant time uh, throughout the season. Okay, so we're uh, maybe going to see number 33, Jackson Sidaway. He's going to throw some passes and warm up just in case. Well, that would you would think that changes the game plan a whole bunch for Skyview if Peach will he'll at least come out one play. Well, I guess they called the timeout so he could possibly stay if he's okay. Looked like a stinger. I mean, he got up, he was walking around, and then Coach Ander was telling him to get down and be evaluated. We'll have to see what happens. But it looks like Mountain Crest has blocked a Roy punt, and they will uh, take over uh, about the 36-yard line from their own, or from uh, Roy's end zone, excuse me. That game is tied 7-7 in the first half. Beach still being tended to. Let's take a 30 second break. We'll be back right after this on Light FM. came off the field, but he ran off, so we'll see uh, how soon he gets back in there. In the meantime, Jackson Sidaway, 6'1", 170, a sophomore. Second and one. Tie the lone back. And Sidaway keeps it and gets a block on the corner. He's got a first down across the 40. Yeah, he gets to the 41, so good play by Sidaway as they just keep faking it to tie, and there's openings on the outside, and they've gotten the edge with Beach, and now Sidaway, gain of six yards for Sidaway on that read option. Sigoni Lund on the stop. Two-way player, he's a heck of a back. Making the stop, but not before Skyview got a first down. At their own 41 with 10.15 to go. Mason Ty bursts up the middle, the big fellow with about three, maybe four yards, coming off a yeoman effort against Northridge. 18 carries, 158 yards, and two touchdowns. Yeah, that's only his third carry of the night. He gets, let's see, just shy of the 45 to the 44, so we'll give him three yards to the 44. Beach returns. 9.45, we're in the second quarter, and it's 10-3 Bengals. 80-yard touchdown pass to their All-State receiver, Fajoko. Here is Beach. Now he throws. Morrison broke a tackle. Slices, dices, dives ahead for a Skyview first down. What a play by Morrison. Just a little jump step inside. Got him across the 50. Got the extra yards for the first down as the Bobcats move the ball into Brighton territory up to the 47. Made a nice cut. Had a nice block, too, by Mason Cook that sprung him for the first. So Skyview in Bengal territory, they're trailing by seven. Not accustomed to saying that uh, to, to this season. Mason Ty broke a tackle. Boy, the big fella, 6'2", 250. This Brighton defense has been stellar and stout so far. Well, they've done a good job of getting a push. Now the Bobcats are starting to get a little bit, and maybe that's because of the read option, but three more yards to the 44 for the Bobcats. Second and seven. Morrison in the slot. They haven't called McCray's number either. Here's the catch by Morrison, and boy, he is blasted out of bounds. They're gonna say he got a foot down, I guess, near the 41, so it's a short gain of three as he went up, climbed the ladder to catch that, but he's blasted in the air as he gets three yards on the pass play. Tight coverage. And again, this Brighton defense gave up 51 last week. Beach, little flare, Morrison, far side. He's out of bounds, he got hit hard, but he's got a sky view first. Yeah, when Morrison gets hit, it looks like he's getting just drilled, but we gotta remember that he's 
a shorter guy, and so when he does get hit, he doesn't have a lot of weight behind it, but he's got the first down for the Bobcats. Having a good night, too. Zach goes 5'11", 165. He's a senior. Got 27 catches coming in. Nine yards per. Yeah, that was just a little swing pass, four yards for Morrison. So the Bobcats looking to dry even. Garrison, good protection this time. Now he rolls right, has some room, looking, firing, caught. They're going to give him the catch. No. Oh, man. Well, Mason Cook corralled it. Sure, Coach Ander thought so. It was right in front of him. Looked like he got a knee down in bounds, but I guess it was on the chalk. The official was right there, called it incomplete. That will be the second incompletion of the night for uh, for Beep. That sure looked like a catch to me, but uh, he's a, right now he's 11 of 13 with the one pick. That one incomplete. We were uh, privy to a TV monitor tonight and uh, looked like he drug a foot from my view. Here's an interior handoff by Ty, and they smelled that out. And man, four or five Bengals right there to say, uh-uh. Yeah, if they give him about a yard on the play to the 36 for forward progress, but nothing there for Ty. Five carries, six yards tonight. Eight minutes, clock runs. Friday night football, KLGN. And thanks to Lewis and State Bank. We sponsor our player of the game, and also thanks to the Les Olson Company. All right, Garrison Beach looks over for signals. Third and nine. They want to keep this drive alive. They're not in Erickson field goal range yet. Beach rolls left. Looks, fires over the head of Mortensen. That would have been a first down. Garrison with an errant throw, and that's going to bring up fourth and, and they, long. They rolled the pocket to the the east side of the football field, and as they did, uh, Mortensen had to climb the ladder. It just went high on beach. So now an interesting call here to see what Coach Ander does. I think personally he'll go for it, but we'll see what they do. Okay, they're at the Bengal 36-yard line, fourth and nine. Might see a hard count. All right, Beach, Ty flanked to his right. Yeah, you had Brighton flinch, but they didn't come across. Holbrook and Mortensen split left. McCray and Cook to the right. Big play here, and now Garrison calls for and receives a timeout. And we'll take one back in half a minute. On your home of the Bobcats, this is KLGN. Explore what we have to do and what Utah has to offer and see and learn about the great state that you and I live in. Fremont just tied up the game against Northridge. We're in Smithfield tonight, Bobcat Stadium. Heck of a crowd. Big matchup, the Bengals of Brighton High School against the unbeaten Skyview Bobcats. Ranked second this week by the Salt Lake Tribune. Seventh in the D News. And they've been on a roll, but they haven't faced a team the quality of Brighton on the season. John? Well, I, I saw Mason tie at first, so I thought maybe it would be a punt, but Beach is out there as well. All right. Fourth and nine at the Bengal 36-yard line. Got to give him some time to find a receiver because that Brighton team has been doing a good job. Goes long, has McCray! He is gone! Touchdown, Skyview! 36 yards! What a pass by uh, Beach that time to McCray on the corner route. You give McCray credit. What a perfect pass as it was right over the shoulder. But the thing about it, too, the offensive line, who has struggled at times tonight for Skyview, gave him plenty of time to hit that receiver with 727. Beautiful pattern by McCray and a heck of a throw by number 10. That equals six. Erickson with the point, and we are tied 10-10. 
7.27 to go, second quarter. Aren't you glad you joined us? Yeah. Hi, Cash Valley. This is Fernando over the factory pizzeria. We're running a special right now. We're giving a free nachos when you buy a large pizza with three toppings. Just mention this up and you're going to get a free nachos every time you come. The factory pizzeria is located in 119 South Main, below the Gia's in the basement. Come see as soon as you can. Thank you. Ah, boy, well, I'll tell you, this place uh, erupted when Garrison Beach found Alex McRae. Beautiful, high-arching throw, caught him in stride over the shoulder, and McRae did the rest on the sideline, and we are tied 10-10. Erickson with the boot. He put the last one in the end zone for a touchback. This one will be brought out. With it is Pear Main, and he's got some room. Beautiful return. He's across the 35-yard line. This kid can scoot. Yeah, that was McCray's first catch of the night, and it goes for Pater to tie this ball game up. And for Alex, he's got four touchdown receptions on the year. None bigger than that one. 10-10. People have been talking about this in every, all over social media, radio. TV, you name it. We've got uh, some good coverage tonight. So again, the scores that we have, Mountain Crest and Roy are tied up at seven apiece in the first half, the last score we had, and then Logan was leading Bear River early, seven to nothing. And for all the coverage, be sure and check out cashvalleydaily.com. They do a great job, and it's uh, the TV game of the week, our contest this evening, and you can catch it. A replay on CashValleyDaily.com. I guess there's a Skyview player on the opposite side of the field with a Brighton bench that's uh, down on the ground injured, and then I guess there was even a penalty after that great return that puts the ball in Skyview territory. Uh, I'm not sure. I didn't see the official call, but must have been. The way it looks is probably a personal foul. So that's going to be marked off to the Skyview 47-yard line. Advanced Heating and Air Conditioning in Logan is your licensed York dealer. Save on new construction or a retrofit. Call 752-7272 for more information. John, how about that drive and stats and Garrison Beach? And um, how did they uh, make it work so well? Well, Beach has only thrown three incompletions. One of those a pick, but he's doing a great job, 12 of 15. When the, the, the line's given him time, he's been able to find receivers. Bulk of them have gone to Morrison and Mortensen. Uh, Holbrook's been mixed in there, but McCray came up with the big fourth and nine, 36-yard uh, TD pass on the corner out. The Bengals' victories, Harriman, Fremont, American Fork, Cottonwood, and Taylorsville, the loss against Jordan last week by two, 51-49. Covey, his last throw, went for 80 yards to Fahoko for, for six. And he's looking for Permain. He's got it. That's going to be a touchdown. He beat the secondary, and Covey threw it perfectly. That, that wasn't Covey. That was actually Drew Jensen, who was the quarterback that started at the start of the season for him, Brad. And he was in there, number 21, threw it. And Woody Udy again got ripped on uh, that fast play as Perriman just went right past him. 47 yards, and they strike right back. That's what... I knew coming in, they had 10 plays of over 20-yard TDs, and they've got two more tonight. On is Williams for the uh, point after. It's on the way. Penalty marker flies in. Yeah, Jensen, 6'2", 185, a senior. He also plays safety, and that's where he's going to be playing his Saturdays in Cougarland for Coach Bronco Mendenhall. Pair Main, 6'1", 175. Had a 70-yard touchdown reception last week 
game's first play. So they can hurt you with not only Fahoku, but uh, Permain as well. So back them up five yards, longer point after. No problem, 17-10, Bengals. Stay right there, we're back after this timeout, KLGN. John Newbold, this is Brad Stone. 17-10 Bengals, they've burned the Bobcats for two long touchdowns. And they have the seven point advantage. Nate Phillips, back to receive this one. And the kick is on the way, Nate's gonna get it. Short kick, fielded at the 15, 25. Crosses the 30, good return by Nate. Filling in for Braxton Ward. We told you about the uh, car wreck recently, and he's on the men. We wish him a speedy recovery. Hope he can get back. And uh, he certainly has produced this season. Clock at 7.04. Beach brings the offense out. The only running game has been Beach. They've really, Ty hasn't had that many carries, but uh, the Bengals have been really tough. Pursuing well, and they've got some size. In motion, far side goes Morrison. Garrison hands off to Ty. The big fella, the bruising back, has about four. Yeah, um, Ty lowered his shoulders, and big collision in there. And There's a Skyview player down right where the tackle was made at the 35-yard line, a gain of four for Ty. And yeah, we'll get a number for you. He's going to be tended to. Don't forget, next week's game on a Thursday. We're going to make the trek to Roy High School against the Royals. And we all remember what happened last year. The lead, and then Skidmore and company came back to win it. And that loomed large as the season progressed. That affected the playoff seeding, and the Bobcats ended up playing Timview second round. They met a Covey, Britain Covey. Yeah, it's always good to go down to Roy. I mean, it's a great setting. And uh, the, to Mike Pusey, the athletic director down there, him and his crew do a great job to help you out. So uh, it's always good to travel down there. But uh, like you mentioned, it was a nightmare ending for Skyview at the end of that ball game when it looked like everything was going right for the Bobcats, about three and a half quarters. And then everything, as good as it went, just kind of disintegrated real quickly in that momentum switch. They always talk about the, the momentum swings in, in the games, like in all sports, but football especially, hadn't seen anything like it before, and that was just amazing. Player is still down. I, is that 67? I don't know. It's hard to tell I, if it is. But, I mean, that's might be reading that wrong. Well, it's hard to tell, but it looked like a six and a seven, but. They're taking their time, or is that pitcher? No, it's 67. 67. And that is Bren Radford, offensive lineman, a senior, 6'2", two, two and a quarter. Hope he's okay. Taking a long look at him. Well, that's the one thing Skyview has had this year is they haven't had the injury bug. Um, they've been fairly good as far as injuries have gone this season and haven't had too many so he's getting helped off the field it's nice to see him walking off a little bit on his own power I won't say on his own power yeah. but he he's putting a little bit of weight on his ankles if that's what it turns out to be is a leg issue but he they'll go take him down there and uh, work on him and see what's going on now see he's walking with just one person helping him off, so 
That will change things on the offensive line for the Bobcats. Yes, it will as they face a second and six. Clock stopped at 6.48. Tonight's game brought to you by the Logo Shop and Locker 42. And uh, Aggie Touchdown Countdown will be there tomorrow. One o'clock. Everything Aggie. Beach retreats. Fires. Caught by Morrison. Made a move. Got extra yardage. Nice play by Zach. Yeah, the one thing that time, you could see that internal clock is ticking in Beach. He pump faked, he went through his progressions, but he got had happy feet. Then he saw Morrison open. As you mentioned, Morrison, the quick little juke inside, got up to the 48, 13-yard pass play. He made a heck of a move to shed a defender. So first and 10, Bobcats just shy of midfield. We're in the second quarter, Bobcats trail by seven, Beach throws Holbrook nice catch what a block by Mortensen to spring him for a first yeah Mortensen blocking down Phil just pushed the defender 10 yards past the sticks and that's how more or excuse me Holbrook got the yardage for the first down as they get across into Brighton territory see where they knock him out of bounds just across the 40 to the 39 so good gain for the Bobcats if you're just joining us, Skyview trailing 17-10, an Erickson field goal, and a 36-yard pass beats to McCray. Engels have had a couple of long touchdown strikes. One was 80 yards. Also have a field goal. Tie with the run. Beach carried out the fake. Mason bowled his way for about two and a half, three yards. As we move under six minutes, second quarter. Home of the Bobcats, KLGN. Skyview unbeaten, 6-0. and Bengals 5-1. and We'll try to get you an update on Mountain Crest and Roy in just a bit. Also Logan Bear River. Second and nine. In motion, near side, it's Ty. Looking right, Beach. Short throw, and it's caught. But boy, suffocating defense. And that is number two in defensive back four. The Bengals. The catch was uh, Morrison. Yeah. So they've really done a good job on Mortensen. And again, Beach, he's being pressured. Not as much time as he's had this season. And here they come again, and they level him, and he underthrows Morrison. Well, the reason he underthrew him is because you mentioned that pressure came and he got hit right in the breadbasket as he let it go on third down on the corner route. It was there. Morrison had his man beat, but it will bring down a fourth down. And that 49 is Doug. I'm going to try to pronounce this. They call him Doug T, and maybe I should as well. Tomo <laughs> We'll that go with that. Good. He had five sacks coming in. Uh, into the ball game and he is a load. Fourth and four and they're gonna go. In motion is Ty, far side. Beach, quick throw and he's got a first down. Kind of a juggling catch for a second. How about a flag on that? After he was down, he kind of got thrown down a little harder, kind of in the same motion. First down, Skyview, move the chains, thank you. On the receiving end, Zach Morrison. Kids having a good night. Yeah, seven yards on the little just dunk pass and dumped it off to him. Morrison with seven catches tonight. I believe he's got 51 yards. So the Bobcats looking for the tying score. Need to keep going. Beach goes long for Mortensen. He's got him, and that is a Skyview touchdown. 31 yards. Well, I think that the scoreboard didn't catch up. I think it was a 26-yard pass play because Morrison had five yards to the 26. And then that little corner route to the pylon, and Mortensen held on his strong hands, pulled it in. His 11th touchdown reception on the season. Beach's 19th touchdown on the year. And the Erickson point will tie the affair. 17-17. Oh, this one's living up to its billing. Brighton and Skyview nodded, 4.35 to go, second quarter, and we're back right after this on the home of the Bobcats, Light FM. Vehicle won't start? We can fix that. Not running right? 
We can fix that. Won't stop. We can fix that. Auto Evolution. Honest service at a fair price on Airport Road. Bobcats football. We're not at 17. Let me make a correction. Beats now with 20. Touchdown passes on the season. One to McCray, one to Mortensen. 26 yards. Bryce hauled it in. And boy, the big fella. I'll tell you what, he's got great, great hands. So difficult, almost impossible on when you cover him man on man. Erickson booms this one. That's going to find the end zone. Touchback. And the Bengals will go to work. We're tied at 17, and here's John. Well, there you go, Mortensen. Adds to his state-leading total of touchdown receptions uh, with that 26-yard catch. And that one, he had to really hang on tight because the coverage was there, and he ripped at the ball, but the strong hands of Mortensen pulled it in. Okay, so the Bengals will go to work, and they go back to Covey, I do believe, John. All right, or is that 16? Here what? is a run, and they have him. See ya. Durant Beautiful play. That was Colton Durant right in the backfield as he wrapped up the running back and took him down. Oh, it was Maiden, excuse me. I saw the two. I thought it was 72, not, but it was 52. Six feet, 225, a senior. And so it is Covey back in there. Four minutes, we're knotted at 17. That was a loss of three yards. And the throw is caught. Makes a move. Short gain, good pursuit. And a stopping tackle. That's Bahoko. Let's see, got to the 22-yard line. Pass of four yards. Okay, so that's going to bring up third down and seven. Bobcats and the Bengals. Well, this is a season going by. It's already week seven. In motion is Lund. And that's going to be a penalty on the Bengals, I do believe. Bobcats are... Uh, Clapping, yes, they're going to mark it off in legal motion. Well, give, give some credit to the crowd. They got that's a lot of they've been all, all, all game tonight as they're trying to help out their defense. Now it'll be third and long, but as we've seen, no problem for Brian. They can just toss it up there, and they've been able to do that, scoring on some big plays. The Bobcat corners have been tested for sure tonight. After to make some adjustments, defensive coordinator Cam Johnson will certainly talk to the guys and get a different scheme or at least tweak it. They're facing a top-notch team here. Covey is pressured, broke free. He's tackled by Durant from behind. Yes, sir. Give Christensen credit. Christensen came outside, and that forced uh, the quarterback to step up. Covey stepped up, and as he did that, big Colton Durant got one paw there on the inside of the jersey and ripped him down to the turf to bring up a fourth and long. When number 72 gets a hold of you, it's pretty much game, set, match. He is a terror. 6-2, 180. Here is the kick. And it's a boomer, and it is a fair catch. Call four by Phillips. Bobcats are going to have great field position. They're going to set up shop at their own 46. Yeah, so a pretty decent punt, and a good job by Phillips to call for the fair catch there. And the Bobcats, if they, they kind of got a little bit of mo here. Let's see if they can keep it up, Brad. And tonight's game being brought to you in part by Lewinsky Financial. And they feel that it is their job to earn your trust. Trust that uh, they will make sure you are really taken care of. Call Dave at your earliest convenience, 755-7606. Litwinski Financial. Beach has trips to the right, two receivers left. Garrison 
Going to keep it, and he's going to pay the price. Didn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Yeah, I think he lost a yard back to the 45 as he was trying a quarterback draw, and you mentioned it, Brad. He got pounded. I'll tell you, he's going to need uh, the jacuzzi tonight. Under two minutes. Boy, that uh, was a weird snap. I don't know what happened there, but they're going to flag the Bobcats. Yeah, you've got, you're trying to run your two-minute drill here right before the half, and the false start will mark you back, knock you back five yards to the 40. Bobcats, just when it seems like they've got some momentum, they've gone backwards. All right, so not at its 17. One of the big games in the state tonight, and we're glad to have it with you. Here's the pass by Beach. He's got Mortensen. He broke free, lunges ahead, may have a Skyview first down inside Bengal territory, inside the 45. Yeah, great job as he just bowled over and drug a defender. The Sky Bison. And boy, is he a load. 6'6", 220. Got a lot of savvy, too. Got 94 ticks left, second quarter. Bobcats looking to go ahead. In motion, Morrison catches it, lost it actually. It was a juggling act, incomplete. That'll stop the clock with 125 to go. And tonight's game on the new Light FM be brought to you by Summit Creek Sinclair right here in Smithfield. And also by Bridgerland Applied Technology College. Thanks to all of our Skyview High sponsors. Tell them you heard the broadcast on KLGN. Trips to the right. Beach has it, and he is pressured. Finds Mortensen, scoots out of bounds. Well, they gave him, he stepped out right at the sticks. So where they marked it, I believe he has the first down, but Beach just barely got that off as the pressure was right in his face. Got to give the Bengals a whole lot of credit. Their scheme. And they have devised quite the attack. Beach has been under duress. Putting up some good numbers, has a couple of touchdown throws. But the Bengals making him pay for it. But he's tough back there. They threaten blitz, 120 to go. Nearly drew him offside, which they have tonight. Well, they just need him to break that neutral zone. And that's what the Skyview sideline wanted. Garrison looks far side, heaves it up. Back shoulder, try to hit McCray, incomplete. Well, that blitz was there, so they had to get it out quick. There is a penalty marker, I believe, as the official's coming in to talk to the head referee. It's on this west side of the football field, so I don't see the flag, but that's where he came running from. We'll see if there's anything called. As we wait for the signal. Well, there's nothing. It looks like they're just saying incomplete. Still no signal. No, sideline warning maybe. They're taking their time, their sweet time. And that'll give me time to mention Lauer Foods in Richmond. And I'm gonna make everybody hungry. Think Lauer Foods for all your favorite pre-cooked meat products. Nothing like it. Lauer Foods and football in the weekend. Oh yeah, Beach throws it, it's picked off. Tried to hit Mason Cook. Great defensive play. And that's, is that Covey? I believe that was. We don't have a 16 on no, it was I Was it 15? Yeah, Andrew Covey. So uh, big play, second pick. He read that perfectly. Fell to the turf, kind of stretching for it. Otherwise, he might have been still running. So the Bengals get it back. Skyview Drive goes for a punt. Bengals have some time. One oh nine left. Here's a quarterback run. Covey broke a tackle, and he is hit and stopped by J.R. Martindale. Yeah, it broke through Colton Durant, but then it, Martindale knocked him down to the turf. Short game. 
17-17 tie. We have a timeout, and we're back in half a minute on Light FM. For you, bronze package. Triple the price, doubles the contract. You like big muscles? Or the platinum package. 100% of the fee goes to 75% of the total cost. I make your little muscle into big muscle. Okay, onyx package. 3% divided by 7, minus your budget. You want a big muscle? You want a big muscle? And that's why I don't like gyms. Well, we're not a gym, Randy. We're Planet Fitness. No gym intimidation, no lunks, no pressure. Just $10 a month. We're not a gym. We're Planet Fitness. This is Brad Stone, John Newbold, and Hurricane, how about some stats? Well, I, I, if what I've got, I don't know, I, my computer's had a couple problems, but I, if I've got it right, I've got Sky for 262, Brighton around 174. Okay, total yards tonight on the scoreboard were knotted, 17 apiece. 102 to play. Watch number one. Here's Jensen. He'll throw it incomplete. Tried to hit number four, and that's Pear Main. So Coach Bullet kind of mixing it up. Yeah, I, looks like Jensen might have the stronger arm, arm of the two. Maybe that's why he was starting at the start of the season. But uh, he, he threw for uh, Pear Main in the middle of the field and goes incomplete. We've got a quarterback that got hurt, Albert Hutter. 69% completion, 670 yards, seven touchdowns. So... They've lost their main guy, and they're uh, making the, making up for it. The hook goes isolated on that east side of the field. Here is the run by Sione Lund. Broke a tackle. Boy, this kid got a first down. He had over 700 yards coming into this evening. Yeah, they spread the Bobcats out, and then right up the gut, enough for the first down. So they'll stop the clock with 49 seconds. And we have a timeout. Got some scores for you here, Brad, real quick. We've got Mountain Crest and Roy tied up at seven at the half, and Northridge and Fremont are tied at 7-7 seven, seven there in the first half as well in those Region 1 ball games. All right, John, thank you. Locker 42 is looking for 42 outstanding youth. 42 kids, eighth grade through 12th. You've had success, excelled, or made significant contributions in the community, in the classroom, or on the athletic field. 42 outstanding youth we recognized at the half of the Aggie game against Nevada on November 21st. And those 42 receive a couple of tickets to the game and a shopping experience at Locker 42. For more info, might I suggest Locker42.com. Bengals have it. At their own 37. Drew Jensen heaves it up. Fahoku barely missed him. Yeah, that was McCray. The Bobcats have got two players out there now. They've got the one-on-one -on -one coverage, and then they've got someone bracketing him out there. And McCray knocked it down at the last second, just got his paw up, and knocked it down as they were going deep to Fahoku. Great coverage by McCray. Because Fahoku can reel it in. He goes 6'5", 180. He's all state. Set a state record 24 touchdown catches last year. And this season, 26 yards per catch. Jensen fires, and that's caught. That's going to be short of a, of a first down. So the clock will keep ticking as he's shy. Fahoku again. He's a marked man, but boy, and he's headed to play for Stanford. And that speaks for itself. And the Skyview defense celebrating. We're gonna back him up five yards with 20 seconds to go before intermission. At well, the half, we'll get you with news, weather, and sports. Bobcats look like they've gone back to a three or four deep in uh, defense, probably a three deep coverage as they're trying to take away the long ball. This Bengal team put up nearly 700 yards of offense last week, but they're gonna say, all right, we're, uh, I, as I say that, I thought they might just uh, say, we'll call it good, but they're uh, going to stop the clock with just under 12 seconds to go. So maybe Coach Bullet had a change of mind. Well, I'm not sure if the clock should have started. I'm trying to 
Remember, because it was a dead ball fault start penalty, but the clock was running then, so we'll see as the officials get together and talk about it. I want to thank Athletic Director Ryan Grinick of Skyview. He brought us some information that uh, we hope to pass on at the half. Clock runs. They want one more play. They're going to have to hurry. Jensen takes his time. This will be it for the half. Going for all of it. Fahoku, and it's underthrown and nearly picked off. McCullough back there. So that would have been shy of the end zone, but... Um, I like the call. Why not? So that puts us at the half. Heck of an opening two quarters. And we haven't settled anything. 17-17, Skyview and Brighton. This ball game, just what we expected. Stay there. We're back with some sponsor uh, information. Get you uh, some news. And also, we'll come right back with a recap and stats. My name is Bree Sims. I play center mid on Skyview Soccer. My favorite subject in school is advanced medical anatomy. Thanks, Wendy's. Go Bobcats. My name is Max. I play defensive end for Skyview Football. My favorite subject in school is English. And thank you, Wendy's. Go Bobcats. bacon cheeseburger with melty cheddar cheese and smoky honey mustard on a warm soft pretzel bun. Now that's better. Soupy D here. Rylan, what are we talking about? Sick dance party called the Boneyard. Phil, when is it? Where is it? It's at the non ramp Logan Canyon. Max, when is it? I believe it's October 30th. Cool, we'll see you there.
The game of the week on the Valley Channel is brought to you by Icon Health and Fitness, changing lives with fitness innovation. Wendy's of Cache Valley, it's way better than fast food, it's Wendy's. Mountain Star Cache Valley Hospital, not bigger, just better. Lewiston State Bank, strong and vibrant for over a century. Cash Valley Electric, a tradition of excellence since 1915. New Smile Dental, experienced dental care. Camp Chef, the way to cook outdoors. Cash Valley Hearing and Audiology, bring back what you've been missing. LSS Insurance, personalized insurance coverage for your family and business. Lynn's Audio and Video, Cash Valley's Audio and Video Specialist. The Book Table, your family's bookstore for music, toys, and much more. Planet Fitness of Logan, no gym intimidation and only 10 bucks a month. On top of Utah Spas, check out the affordable Max Spas. The Logo Shop, we logo stuff, all kinds of stuff. And the Valley Channel, Cash Valley's TV station for over 25 years. The training experience you never saw coming. The official training bike of the Tour de France, the 2015 Proform TDF. With an extra large HD display plus a 20% incline and decline, your training will climb to new heights. Only the TDF comes with iFit, powered by Google Maps. So your ride will be unlike anything you've ever experienced. Go to Proform.com now and get the TDF for zero down plus free shipping. Brad Stone along with John Newbold and uh, other sports and the Bobcats. And here's John. Well, uh, other Skyview Sports girls soccer is currently in fourth place in Region 1. They have a game left Tuesday at Fremont. Cross-country team, there is Region next week, next Friday at USU. In girls tennis here at Skyview, they're second in Region. Malia Ola and Alex Slade are Region champions. The state is next week. And then boys golf, second in Region tournament, third overall in Region. First team all Region is Josh Lichty, Connor... Knowles and second team Noah Johnston, Connor Meekum, Justin Hoskins. Oh, Connor Meekum was honorable mention actually. And then in volleyball, fourth place in region right now. Um, so congratulations to all the sports for the Skyview Bobcats. And one thing to pass along as well, Bryce Morrison, that we've been following him and how much career yardage he's had and uh, where he ranks his yards tonight. I've got him at 90. And I don't know how close I am. And uh, the All-Stater, Bryce, he is up to 19th place in the state record books with 2,053 yards as he passed Carl Blatt of Mountain Crest. And he's a couple yards, if I'm accurate, he's a couple yards shy of uh, 18th place, their receiver at 2,055 yards back in the 2009 through 2011 season of West Jordan. Deshaun Perkins and the next person at 17 assuming that Bryce gets two yards and I'm right then he'll move into 18th place and then after that he will be gunning for Cody Hobbs who just ended his career at Roy High School last year he had 2118 yards in his history uh, career receptions uh, receiving yards but Bryce Morrison at, I have him for 2053 but he's around there so the All-Stater could be looking at 18th after tonight, going in for 17th with the, still three games in the regular season to be played and then whatever happens in the playoffs. All right, about two minutes before the start of our third quarter, we're not at 17-17. And boy, we've seen some uh, long touchdown passes, 80 yards and 45 for the Bengals. And the Bobcats, Garrison Beach to McCray, and then Garrison to the guy John was just talking about, number 13 of the Sky, uh, pardon me, of the Skyview Bobcats. All right, with John Newbold, I'm Brad Stone. Don't forget to check out CashValleyDaily.com tomorrow or later on tonight, actually, because we'll, we'll tell you about, you can get all the facts and figures about not only this ball game, but Mountain Crest 
Roy, Logan Bear River, and lots more. John? Yeah, I'll tell you what, it looks like Mountain Crest Roy are still knotted up at seven in the second half. I know that the quarterback who, uh, for Mountain Crest just slipped my mind, of course. That's the way it works when you're about to talk about it. Tanner but, Schwab? Yeah, Schwab. He th the Mountain Crest had everything going in the third quarter, and then he threw a pick that was returned to midfield, and then Roy started moving the football, and then they tried a trick play on third down, and the, the pass was there, but it was incomplete, overthrown, so they go for it on fourth down. They get stuffed by Mountain Crest, so a good one there at Roy for homecoming to Region 1, top of the guys there, both undefeated in Region. They want to stay that way, Roy and Mountain Crest, and that's tied at 7. Also, Northridge, the Bobcats' last opponent in Region 1 play there at Fremont. That game was tied at 7 of 7 at the half, and Logan and Bear River, 21 to 7, Logan leading Bear River at the half. And don't forget, Bobcat fans, next week's game, a day earlier on Thursday, Bobcats and Roy Fred Fernandez, boy, his team played for all of it last season. Lost to uh, Britton Covey and Tim Few, the Thunderbirds, getting it done. And Covey's having a heck of an impact his freshman year. Special teams and also a wide receiver for the 10th-ranked Utes of coach Kyle Woodingham. But we hope you make your plans and join us on Thursday. And be sure and spread the word for us. And stick around after the ball game, our post-game show. John will take the lead. We'll have Coach Ander, and if the Bobcats win, a couple of players. And Mason Ty, who had a great game at Northridge last week, he came up, and uh, the big fella, the tumbler. <laughs> His uh, teammates have given him that uh, nickname, and he was uh, just delightful on our show. Yeah, he really was, and it's always good, the players, you just see the excitement that they have for the football you know, game and for their teammates and their friends and they just love football and that's why I, I appreciate both of the coaching staff, Brighton and uh, also Skyview for uh, allowing this game to be played. It was a bye week for uh, Skyview and Brighton and they, they decided to make it happen and, and that's good because they're giving the kids a chance to play and that's just what, what it's all about and I, I think that's really a, a tribute to both of the coaching staffs and administrations at both schools. Well said. And so the Bobcats will get the football. Nate Phillips back to get it. And here it comes, the kick. As we begin the third quarter, Phillips has it about the six. Crosses the 20. Has the outside, looking for more. Across the 30, Nate. He's hauled down, but he's across the 35. Good return. Yeah, he, he was trying to come to the west side of the football field. That's where the wedge was, but Brighton bottled that up. Then he bounced it outside, back across the field to the east side, got to the 36, so a gain of uh, about 30 yards on that return. Good job by Phillips as he was able to get it out there for the Bobcats. So Beach comes out. He was under a lot of pressure, suffered a couple of sacks, took some major hits. Got injured, at least uh, had to go out of the game for a couple of plays. And he throws and he finds Mortensen. Bryce bowls over a Brighton defender. And the big fella, he's going to be about uh, two yards shy of a first. Yeah, they put Mason Ty in motion. And then Ty was the lead blocker on that little quick pass to Mortensen out there. As he got up to the 45, 46 yard line again. Oh, they gave him nine. O-line needs to... Uh, give him just a split second longer. We'll see what adjustments they've made. Here's Beach, has a first. Garrison, good yards. Crosses midfield, right by the Bengal sideline. Garrison. Yeah, gain of, let's see, about nine more, eight more, as they mark it at the 47 yard line. So eight yard gain by Beach. Bobcats been behind in this game. They have faced adversity, which they hadn't all season long. Beach throws incomplete. Morrison, and he's upset with himself for not hauling that in, but it was a low throw. Yeah, that one, he had to get it over the offensive and defensive line, and then it just kind of dipped down real quick on the slant pattern and goes incomplete. Morrison's had a fairly busy night for himself. 50, just over 50 yards and seven catches. Second and 10. And here's Mason Ty. Made a cut. 
Beautiful run, his longest of the game. Tolua was out there blocking, trying to get the edge, and the hole opened up in the middle, and he just planted his foot and took off tie down to the 41, gain of six. His longest run of the night, if you can believe it. Last week, 18 carries, 158 yards, two touchdowns. So we played 90 seconds. Bobcats have made good use of that. They're in Bengal territory, and it's Mason Ty, and he is stopped. Yeah, he got across the 40, maybe to the 39, just barely across the 40. We'll, we'll just give him one, but it's going to bring up fourth and short. What does Skyview do here? Tackled by Reese Kimball. Bobcats on fourth and two. Looks like they're going to go. They've been good on fourth downs all season long. They're going to take a timeout. Oh. And we will, in addition, back in half a minute here on Light FM. off your weekend we get uh, due to conference weekend we've got BYU at home against UConn Aggies homecoming coming up tomorrow against Colorado State parade at noon a lot going on in the CV and they drew him off you bet you beat so good at that I don't even know if he drew him off I'll be honest I just think that was just a bad play by Brighton he just jumped across they were all jumping moving around trying to get Skyview to jump and get a false start and the guy just came across gives his Bobcats a first down and they say thank you very much yes sir at the 35 Bobcats and the Bengals nodded at 17 Beach goes for all of it over through Holbrook he had him and it looks like it's going to be a hold in the backfield anyway, so even if he catches it, then it was coming back. It'll be a 10-yard penalty, and that's a spot foul. That happened about two or three yards behind the line of scrimmage, so it's a spot foul from there. It could end up being about a 13-yard penalty, yardage-wise. Yes. Okay, back him up. Brother. Yes. Here comes the uh, mark off, 9.59 to go. And tonight's game on KLGN, brought to you by Preston Watts Auto Body and Collision, two locations, Logan and Smithfield. And also thanks to the Les Olson Company. Check them out online, lesolsoncompany.com. Beach in the gun, nice fake. Garrison now throws incomplete. That looked like a hold on against Cook. Yeah, their marker came flying out. We'll see what the call is. Because either it was the ball in the air, if the ball is in the air, that's PI, but they call a hold, so you have yes. it. Yes, okay. Well, and Cats will get back some of that yardage. Got John. an update. Mountain Crest, they went for it against Roy on fourth and two from Roy's six yard line and failed with 8.43 in the game. That game still knotted up at seven. Mustangs looking to stay unbeaten. But the Royals, even though they lost a lot of guys, Fred Fernandez has them playing some good football, and they've got a couple of bruising backs. We're going to see them next week. Beach has it, and boy, he's pressured off the edge. Breaks free, throws, he hits the turf. I'll tell you, he is taking a beating back there. Yeah, he got away from the rusher. They just came off the edge, unblocked, got around for one, and then he about got clobbered again, just got rid of that football to Cook, and it falls incomplete as Cook tried to keep his feet in bounds and still maintain possession of the ball, and he couldn't. We're seeing this Brighton defense. I just shake my head to think they gave up 51 last week. 
Jordan must be pretty good. And they must be able to run it too. Something Skyview hasn't been really able to do except for Beach. Garrison throws, Mortensen. He looked for him, but he, and even with those two of those big hands and long arms, couldn't get it at 6'6". Six, six. Yeah, he, he went on that route to the corner, and as he did, I think he just went, you know, more inside. Beach had to throw a clear outside, or he did throw a clear outside to the east side of the field. Falls incomplete. Mortensen did have a couple steps on the defender. Third and long. It's third and 13. Pass to Mortensen. Needs a block. And he got a positive yards, but it's going to be well shy of the first. Yeah, and it's a good thing that he's 6'6 six, six and has got great hands because that ball was high and outside, and he just snagged it, pulled it in for a gain to the, what, 34-yard line. Fourth and nine. Looks like they're going to go. And they are. He needs time. Garrison flushed, rolls left, throws, and he has a man. And I believe it's Mortensen, and he's all the way inside the Bengal 15. Wow, big play on fourth and long, and they get it inside the 15, as you mentioned. And they're chewing up clock, and they're keeping that explosive offense of Ryan off the field. Clock at 9.05. Yeah, the Bobcats have worked off nearly three minutes. This drive started at their own 37, and they're in the red zone looking to take the lead. Beach pressured. I know I sound like a broken record, and it's nearly picked. I don't know who he was throwing to. Well, he was trying to hit the receiver over the middle. He overthrew him, and Fajoko almost pulled it in with one hand. But Mortensen having a huge game tonight. I've got him over 100 yards easily. And uh, trying to make a play at our Lewiston State Bank player of the game, yes. for sure, the Sky Bison. And yeah, we'll be looking into that as the night progresses. All right, so second and 10. Skyview with trips to the right. Beach has it. He's going to keep it. Garrison! Nice run. He got tripped up. He was thinking end zone. Yeah, gain of eight, I believe, down to the four as he pump faked, rushing around the outside, and then it just froze the defenders a little bit, and then he cut in the five-yard line. They're going to mark it at the four. How many yards do you have for number 10? Well, rushing 55, and, you know, I'm I'm close. I I, you always exact. are, man. we got to give you some props. What is it, third and short here? It is third and two. Looks like Durant's in. And here is Ty and they say, uh-uh. Boy, that never had a chance. Nope, not at all. I, Brighton snuffed it out and they got it fourth down. I think that Ty, they didn't even get back to the line of scrimmage. We'll knock it back to the five. They can get a first down at the two yard line. So an interesting call coming up by coach here. They went for it on fourth earlier. You're in field goal, round, field goal range now. We'll and, uh, see if he goes here for comes it. Erickson, yeah. Can't uh, knock the strategy there. Get the lead back. You're at home, and it could loom large. Erickson, this is going to be a 22 yarder. He made one earlier. Good snap, kick on the way, looks good, is good. Bobcats retake the lead, 20 to 17. Black Show 719, and we're back right after this 30-second timeout. KLG and Radio. Over the period of time, my hearing became worse and worse. Over the course of the years, I developed a, a hearing loss and I would not be able to hear my employees talk to me sometimes. For Paul Dings and Cash Valley's integrity, his character, his background, his equipment, I would recommend him to anyone for a hearing aid specialist. Heck of a crowd. Mother Nature's cooperating. That's always a good thing. And the Bobcats have the lead. And this is, uh, certainly has a playoff feel to it. And we mentioned in our pregame that uh, that is a possibility as things 
round into the playoffs in a few weeks. We'll be right there with all the Bobcat action every step of the way on Light FM. Here's the Erickson kick. Last one made the end zone. This one as well. So the Bengals will start at their own 20. Mr. Newbold. Yeah, so the last score we had in Region 1 play, now Creston Roy still knotted up at seven apiece in that game. And then Northridge takes the early lead in the third quarter over Fremont, 14 to seven in Region 1 action. We haven't called Sione Lund's number very much. Eighth in the state in rushing yards coming in over 700. Nine yards per carry, 10 touchdowns, and nine receptions as well. So they have hurt the Bobcats in the air. Fahoku for 80, Permain 45 yards. Covey, quick throw. Nothing, no sir, Bobcats smelled that out. Yeah, pitcher was there for the Bobcats. That was Permain that got tackled on the, I guess the little flare plat pass and it actually loses a couple yards back to the 18. That front four gets a lot of notoriety. Christensen, Durant, Maiden, and Jake Pitcher. Solid core linebackers. Martindale, Bowman, Adderley. McCray, one of the stalwarts in the secondary. Udy, McCullough, Sidaway, Saxton. It's a deep team. 16 returning starters. Brighton has the same number. Ball is picked off! Durantula! He's inside the five! The big fella had his mid up and he reeled it in! What a play! I'll tell you what, the Durantula red screen on that all the way just stuck out his paw and picked it off. Play of the game right there by Colton Durant. Uh, Woo! And I think uh, the Durants are right below us. Yes, they are. The Durants sit right in front of us. That was awesome play by Colton Durant, showing how big of a player he is. Got his pawn. Let's turn up the mic. <laughs> That's Mama Durant. And she is one happy lady as, well, she should be. Her son is a stud. And he's got to be uh, considered by several schools, at least. If you're the Bobcats, you've got to get in, though. You've got to punch it in. You've got to convert the, the TD here. You can't just settle for three. First and goal at the Bengal four-yard line. Mason bulls his way. Maybe just shy of the one. Tie up the gut. Yeah, we'll have to see. I don't... No, if he got that much of a push, he got two yards down to the two. Gonna play some Smash Mouth. Don't be surprised to have Beach fake it, tuck it, and go. He's had a big night on the ground. And this is kind of, boy, they bring everybody in. This is gonna be, Durant could get it. Got it, I think the ball might have come loose and the Bengals might have it. We'll have to see the, the I think Bobcats recovered, it looks like, the, by what the linesman said, but they tried to get it back to Durant. No gain on that one. Bobcats dodge a bullet. Boy, they were so close, that uh, formation, that Beach really didn't have a lot of space to give it to Colton. That could have been disastrous. Yeah, this is a huge defensive stand right now by Brighton. Third and three. Beach fakes it throws in zone it is caught tremendous catch in traffic that was nearly going to be picked off who it was that i think it was mortensen as he just snagged it out of the air it was going into the back of the end zone on the play fake the defender was right there and mortensen jumped right in front i believe it's mortensen wait we're screened we've got a monitor it's either Mortensen or Cook. It doesn't see. matter. I mean, it does, but the it's thing is points. It's Pitcher. Jake Pitcher. Are you kidding me? The defensive end. He played some tight end, and he caught a touchdown pass. And I tell you, it was going to be picked. He came from nowhere. 
Becoming established doesn't happen overnight. It isn't awarded by one single act. Being established comes from a lifetime of holding on to what is most important, even when it is most difficult. Being established doesn't mean doing what's always been done. It means doing what's right. Lewiston State Bank, established in 1905, established for your future. The Erickson point good, it's 27-17. A lot of highlights on this one, I'll tell you that much. And you can see the game, the replay, cashvalleydaily.com. It'll be up on our website tomorrow. I think it's safe to say tomorrow afternoon. Yeah. And that's going to be dynamite. And I'll tell you, this ball game, we had a lot of ebbs and flows. Bobcats were down, giving up some big plays. They're making their share. Durant's pick, and heck of a play. Permain has it. He's tripped up. Solid special teams play. And coming off the field is number 11 of the Bobcats, and that's Brayton Dean, a senior DB, and he made it a heads-up play. And that's going to pin the Bobcats shy of their own 20. On the 18, Bobcats up by 10, largest margin of the ball game. We've got 5.26 to go. We're in the third quarter. I want to thank you for joining us. The exciting stuff. And here's Lund, and he's got a crease. Broke a tackle, has the 30-yard line. Yeah, that was McCray on the tackle, and I'm trying to catch the other number in McCullough for the Bobcats. But they get out to the 30, a 12-yard game. First and 10. This crowd has had a lot to cheer about. And they went bonkers with the Durant interception, the lineman. Here's Covey. Here's a handoff. Right side, Lund. Good pursuit. They bring him down yeah, for a short game. Yeah, Maiden also pitcher that time. And, I mean, that was... A good job of pursuit, as you mentioned. They strung that out a little better than they did on the previous play. Looking to see what adjustments Coach Cam Johnson, the uh, D coordinator, has with this defense. As they gave up some big plays. And Mahoku, he is something else. An 80-yard touchdown to his credit. Here's Lund again. They're going to pound it this drive, evidently. He'll be held shy of a first down. Trying to get a number off that pile. Yeah, there's Adderley. a whole bunch of Bobcats there on the stop. Second and six. Bridgerland Applied Technology College and Larry's Pharmacy, a couple of our Skyview High football sponsors. As we move under four minutes. Bobcats up 10, and here's Lund, takes it near side, and he is met and stopped. Well, he give Lund credit. It looked like he was stopped for a loss or maybe right at the sticks, but then Lund broke that. There was a couple Bobcats there. He stretched out to the 40. I think he's got the first. If he be very close. If he didn't get the first, uh, I, I think you have to measure on this one, and it's maybe by the, the tip of the football. I, I don't know how you can't measure for that, Brad. Clock at 348. Let's see if the Bengals might take a timeout. Drew Jensen in the game for Covey. Well, now he's a long thrower, but uh, my, are they going to do that on fourth and one? That's a false start. False start, Bengals. Jake Pitcher kind of flinched, and it caused the end on that offensive line to jump, and so it's a false start. Now you're fourth and long now. Now what do you do? Send in the punt team or not? That was uh, loom large. Bobcats get this back leading by 10. Well, they still have the local out there. You got to make sure that he punts it. <laughs> I wouldn't I wouldn't be safe just to say I that they're going to kick it away. Jensen's a heck of an athlete. And he's going to boom it. And it's a high one. Phillips calls for a fair catch, reels it in, 
just inside the Skyview 30. With our score, Skyview 27, Brighton 17. Don't touch that dial. We're back right after this 30-second timeout, KLGN Radio. It's easy to buy insurance and forget about it, but the more you learn about your coverage, the more gaps you might find. Like how you thought you were covered for all this, when you're really only covered for this. Hot dog. Or how you may think you're covered for this, but not for this. Oh, no, no, oh, oh. For this, for this, or that. Talk to farmers and see what gaps could be hiding in your coverage. I haven't. We are farmers. Bum, 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 bum. Give us a call at 752-9493. You'll be glad you did. Skyview with the football. And a run play, Mason Ty, and that's not going to be uh, gonna productive. Be loss. loss of a couple. John, go yeah, ahead. Yeah, got for back from the 30, knocked back to the 28, I believe, so a loss of two. Ty has 12 carries on the evening, but I've got him for 17 yards. Bobcat's only 82 yards rushing is what I have him for. Bengal defense has been up to the challenge. Garrison keeps it, fires Holbrook. Has a blocker, Mortensen paves the way, and that's gonna be a Bobcat first. Bregan Holbrook from Beach, but give a lot of credit to number 13. Yeah, we've talked about it all season long, but those blocks downfield have been springing first downs all night for the Bobcats out to the 43 yard line. And you gotta know, college scouts are looking at that attribute, and he's got a bunch of them, 6'6". Six, six. Great hands, runs good routes too. Interior run, they smell that out. Very impressed with this Brighton defense. Would have loved to have seen that 51-49 affair that they lost against Jordan last week. Of course, the year before it was 78-76 in triple overtime. As we approach the two minute mark, here's Mason Ty. Had a block, he's free and dives for a first in Bengal territory. Biggest run of the night by number 15, Mason the Tumbler tie. Yeah, that's what he did, he tumbled forward, got to the 46, so let's see, about 11 yards on that run for Ty, longest one of the night. Bobcats 6-0, looking to stay unbeaten. Entering tonight, seven teams with an unblemished mark. And that's pretty impressive. Here's Ty again, the big fella. How did he keep his balance? He's to the 25, and I'm telling you, he made them pay. That was a huge hole that time that Ty went through, and then he got his feet knocked, but he did the pirouette, was able to keep his feet as you described, got down to the 25, so a gain of 19. I'll tell you, he is nimble for a guy his size, and he gets it again, and a good play. Well, and the thing that scares you as a Skyview fan is he's going down that, his arms out here with the football. That, you know, that gets knocked free before your knee comes down. That's a huge turnover, so nothing going that time for Ty. And here's a score update. Mountain Crest with 47 seconds left. Their kicker nails a 33-yarder. Mountain Crest leads Roy 10-7 with 44 seconds, for 47 seconds, excuse me. A defensive struggle. Bobcats second 11. Pass. Mortensen makes a spin. Moves out of bounds. Yeah, short gain that time. He was right on the sideline when he spun. We've seen him do that often. Little hook pattern and then spins up field. Gets extra yards. But that time he's too close to the, to the out of bounds there. And just stepped out. Bobcats looking to increase on this lead. It stands at 27-17. But the Bengals have big strike capability. Ball is tipped and is caught unbelievably. Mortensen. It was tipped. I thought it might be picked, but oh no. Usually those are the balls that are picked. The linebacker, or actually that hit the official as I'm looking at it. 
bounced off the official. Mortensen there to snag it out of the air on the slant pattern. And the Bobcats under a minute to go here in the third. Cat-like reflexes. And now the Bobcats are inside the 10, looking to put another touchdown on the board. 40 seconds. Beach in the gun. Ty is most productive running in this drive. Garrison keeps it. Looks like a hold under through his receiver as Garrison ends up on the turf. Yeah, it looked like a hold right away, and that's okay. You don't want your signal caller to get hit again, so that's a good hold. Some of them you don't like, but I'll take that one if you're a Bobcat fan. Beach doesn't need to be hit anymore. Advanced heating and air conditioning in Logan, your licensed York dealer. One of our fine Skyview sponsors. Also, logo pardon me, the logo shop and locker 42. Everything Aggie. Tell them we sent you. So that's going to bring up first and 17. Could be the last play of the third quarter. Trips at kind of that bunch formation to the right. Boy, Mortensen, McCray, Holbrook, Morrison. They've got some receivers. Could be the best in the state. Incomplete in and out of the hands of McCray. Might have looked up a little early. Brad, you're never going to believe this. Touchdown Roy from nine yards out. The Royals lead 14 to 10 with 23.8 seconds. Mountaincrest took that lead with 47 seconds and Roy comes from behind to take the lead with 24 seconds left. Unbelievable. And that's in the game, not just the third quarter? That's in the game. Boy, that's a fast one too, all right. High drama in region one tonight. That's homecoming for Roy. That, that's an amazing ball game. Okay, the Bobcats second in Long Beach. Had to throw it early. He had a player in his face, caught by McCray. And that's gonna end the quarter. With our score, Skyview 27, Brighton 17. We're back in 60 seconds to begin the fourth here on Light FM. Right now, when you join Planet Fitness, you get your first month free then pay just $10 a month. You'll get to work out in a clean, comfortable, judgment-free environment and always enjoy unlimited fitness training with your membership, all for just $10 a month. Join now in club or online at planetfitness.com and get your first month free. Planet Fitness, the judgment-free zone. Bobcats football, Friday Night Lights, week seven of the 2015 Utah High School football season. With John Newbold, I'm Brad Stone. The Bengals and the Bobcats in this marquee matchup has certainly lived up to its billing. These fans have been uh, just into it from the get-go. A lot of hype and hoopla surrounding this contest. A lot of notoriety. And the Bobcats up 10 looking for more but they face a third and 16. Ty, the lone back. Beach is pressured. And Thunder threw his receiver. It is caught. That is a Skyview touchdown. Who got it? Was I don't know. I didn't see. I think it might have been Holbrook. Holbrook. If it's number 20, it looks like it was, I guess, is what we're being told. And Heck of a catch. And a defender right there. And how Beach got it there, I'll never know because he had a player flying at him in his face. Touchdown. And Skyview is up 33-17. Man, oh man. Erickson's point, good. What a play. Beach's third touchdown pass. And Holbrook, number 20, reeled it home for six. And Just to 
Wendy's Pretzel Bacon Cheeseburger with melty cheddar cheese and smoky honey mustard on a warm, soft pretzel bun. Now that's better. We were nodded at 17 halftime. Bobcats have owned the second half. They've doubled the score. Garrison Beach with a heads up play. He just put it up there and Holbrook got it, even though it was closely defended. Here is the Erickson kick, and that's going to go into the end zone. Touchback. Bobcat, pardon me, the Bobcats. We'll send the defense out. Bengals down 17, and John Newbel. Yeah, a terrific job by the Bobcats. As, like you mentioned, they're taking control, but Beach had the rush right up in his face, so he just got rid of it, threw it to the end zone. He knew his uh, receiver, Holbrook, was looking back for the football. The defender didn't, and so he just threw it up there. Holbrook went and got it in the corner of the end zone. To cap a 70-yard time-consuming march. Got a great update from the Mountain Press game, Brad. All right, thank you. We'll get to it in a second. Covey hands it off. Fahoku. Now he reverses field, tripped up. That's pitcher. Jake number 47. Loving that as well he should, and so do the fans. Well, here's the score update in Roy. Mountain Crest throws a Hail Mary and wins the game. 16 to 14 over Roy. To stay unbeaten. They Must had have been Tanner Schwab working some magic. Yes, a they did. Hail Mary. And you can read all about it tomorrow at CashValleyDaily.com. Second and 17. Here's Covey. Throws, has Lund. You better get him on the ground. Tripped up. Or he might have uh, now a penalty. We'll see what that's all about. I think it might be uh, flagged on the Bobcats. A little too overzealous. We'll wait. Bengals down a bunch by 17. But they've got quick strike capability. Personal foul sky view. Don't need that. So going back to that Mountain Crest Roy game, you're talking about three scores in 47 seconds. Mountain Crest kicked the field goal. Then after they kicked the field goal, the, oh, yeah! so then they Roy scores a touchdown. And it's a personal foul actually on Brighton, Brad. They switched the call. So then Roy scores a touchdown by a nine yard run after they threw a slant pattern on a big play. And then a Hail Mary by Mountain Crest wins it 16-14 over Roy to stay undefeated in region play. What would you do without social media, particularly Twitter? What would we do without it? I, uh, I don't know. We couldn't do a broadcast. What did they used to do in the old days? <laughs> Just not, you don't get updates. That's what you did. <laughs> All right. You'd have uh, your producer, you know, back uh, talking in your ear. We move under 11 minutes. Third and 17 in motion. Far side is Lund. Covey retreats, now runs, has some space. Knocked down, heck of a hit. J.R. Martindale, that might be a penalty. And a bright careful. The, one of the Brighton players, that's Lund getting in the face of Mountain, or the Skyview players after that late hit. Or I guess helmet to helmet's what probably they'd call. And we will see. Well, it's the only call it can be is on Skyview, but it. Look, I mean, it's got to be helmet to helmet because he just went up to make the tackle and we saw the replay, it wasn't, but that's what they called. At an inopportune time because that's going to be a Bengal first down. They moved that all the way to the uh, Brighton 35-yard line. 10.41 left in the affair. Covey to throw. He's pressured by Big Max. Here's the throw, nearly intercepted by McCray. Udy was there in addition, and they were defending Fahoku. Yeah, good job by McCray that time as he went up, and he has to jump to get up that high to knock it down as he did. So good job by McCray, because that would have been a spectacular catch by Fahoku. We invite you to stay tuned after our ball game. John will anchor our post-game show. We'll hear from Coach Craig Ander, and if this uh, score holds, we'll have some players. 
we've had some great interviews. A couple weeks ago, Max Christensen and uh, Bryce Mortensen both tore it up. Last week, Mason Ty for one. It's always special. Catch it on your way home. Those fans might stick around and celebrate if the Bobcats can hold this lead. Pass to Pearman. Pearman, pardon me. In on the play, UD and also number five of the Bobcats, Bryson Sidaway. So that's going to bring up a third and five. Bengals trailing by 17. Let's see what they draw up here. Might even go for it on fourth. Bobcats threaten blitz. Pass is incomplete. Covey a little strong and a little high on that one. Yeah, right at the sticks at the 45 in the middle of the field. Just went out of the receiver's hands, bounced him. incomplete. So what do you do here if you're Coach Bullet? Well, I think that I would assume they'll punt it away, but we'll see. Drew Jensen in the game. We've already seen his arm strength. Yeah, they've got Pahoko out here on the west side of the football field in a bunch formation. I think you might have to go. And they're going to do the uh, kick. And it's a good one by Jensen. And it might get a favorable bounce, Jensen. which it does. And that's going to be inside the five. A thing of beauty. They've had a couple of great bounces. Yeah, it rolled down there. But uh, for Skyview, they didn't put anyone back. It, in case that uh, they were, were indeed going to go for it. But the Bobcats will start inside their five yard line. Game management is brought to you by the Les Olson Company. Your copiers and printers are MVPs of your office. Help your team tackle their work. Les Olson Company can refresh your office technology and make it a winning season. Call any one of their seven locations or go to lesolson.com. Your business empowered. Bobcats backed up first and 10 at their own three-yard line. Got to protect it, leading by 17. You don't want any miscues down deep. Mason Ty has had a good second half lugging that football. Harrison keeps it, throws it, has a man. That's going to be a Skyview first down, and that is Zach Morrison. Yeah, good play, and that's working for Skyview tonight. And uh, big play as they were in the shadows of their own end zone, and they get out as they get down to the 15, 16 yard line, gain of 13. Clock is an ally of the Bobcats. They'd love to keep this drive going. Mason Ty, and he's going nowhere. Boy. Bengals were right there. They've been stout all night, except for containing Beach, which they've had trouble doing. Yeah, and that's on the uh, read option that the Bobcats run. And I mean, Beach has ripped off some good yardage, but then again, he's had some plays where, you know, he's been uh, been dinged up a little bit. They give him forward progress for about a yard, and then I think ties down on the ground, got a cramp, looks like. And those are painful, to say the least. So it'll be uh, spelled by Jamal Danes. John? Yeah, that's the one good thing is Jamal Danes has gotten some good playing time this season. So the only thing for the Bobcats now is they need to keep this clock running as this, the other game, uh, Mountain Crest and Roy, they can really get the clock moving, though, because that's a running football game. These guys have passed more tonight. In your estimation, contenders for player of the game? Well, I think that Bryce Mortensen's got to be the man over 140 yards receiving and uh, some touchdowns. I mean, it's just amazing. So you got to give, I think that would be my guess, but Colton Durant, big game yes. as well. That interception really changed the momentum in this game in the third quarter with 628 to go. So uh, those are the two guys that I'd kind of be looking at, Brad. Okay. Bobcats have it. Clock runs as we approach nine minutes. Beach rolls. Runs, positive yardage, but he's going to be shy of a first. Tripped up. Well, I tell you what, Garrison's going to need the uh, jacuzzi. He has um, been taking some hits, and uh, the kid is fearless. And I'll tell you, the numbers he's put up grab your attention. One of the top signal callers in the state. Skyview 
facing third and four. They got to get this or going to have to punt it away. Garrison's going to milk it for all it's worth. Okay, and it is an interior run, and they sniff that out. Jamal Danes goes nowhere. So that's going to bring up fourth and four. And here comes the punting unit. Yeah, only the second carry for Danes tonight, but you know, you, when you need him to come in and spell tie, that's a good weapon to have. He's quick, but it gets us bright and D. We, I mean, they've stuffed the run pretty decent tonight. Fahoku is setting up shop at the Bengal 47. Ty's not in, so it's Alex McRae. And that's a good kick. Fahoku has it at the 36. Broke free for a second, and he's hauled down. Good stop right there. Hatterley back there on special teams. Also Mortensen, part of that. Yeah, Bryce, serious candidate for MVP of the game. All-state wide receiver, and he's had a big evening. But again, if you're just joining us here, that Mountain Crest Roy game in Region 1, three scores in the last 47 seconds of the game, and Mountain Crest comes out with the Hail Mary victory, 16-14 over Roy. And here we go. Here's Lund. And he slashes for five, maybe six. Penalty flags fly in. Jake Pitcher lost a helmet. Well, they both saw it. They've, the helmet was thrown off of Pitcher. I don't know what happened before that, but there's going to be a conversation as the officials get together at midfield and just tell the Skyview players to back away as they discuss what happened. Pitcher's got to come out for a play, and he's replaced by number 45. And that's Andrew Dean. Yeah, Lund came up the middle, got a good run of about five yards. So we'll see. They get across to about the 49, 48 of Skyview, but then that's when the penalty flags came flying in late. 34-17, clock shows 7-24. As they sort things out, face mask on Skyview. Are you sure, sir? And then a personal foul on Brighton. And, there's and an, an ejection. ejection. Well, they ejected someone. Maybe it's on Skyview. Let's see. Okay, there's a face mask on Brighton and then a penalty on Skyview, and they ejected Skyview. So it looks like Pitcher is probably the one that got ejected because he he's the one that would have gotten the face mask because his helmet was ripped off. So I think Jake Pitcher just got ejected from this game. Craig Ander is out pleading his case, and he is not happy. And he's demonstrative, stating his case. Not happy any way, shape, or form. Yeah, so that's what it calls. Coach Ander doesn't like the explanation from the head official, but I believe that's who it was. It's got to be Pitcher. His helmet was the one that came off, so he got the face mask on him, called against Brighton, but whatever he did to retaliate, obviously a blow to the head, and that's caused the ejection. And the Bengals have it. Second and six. That's a big loss. Pitcher's one of the fine defensive ends in the state. Well, I wonder if he has to sit out part of the next game at Roy, like for a half or something like that. Oh, I don't know how man. that works. Like, Hopefully not for Skyview, but we'll have to ask Coach Ander afterwards what the rule is there, Brad. I mean, the D end has got a touchdown reception. It was a big one. Durant has an interception, so it's uh, it's been quite a night. Covey, nice throw. That's going to be a Brighton first down. Bobcats with the stop. 7-10 left. Skyview up 17, 34-17. They blanked this high octane offense in the second half. Covey, two receivers right and left. Throws, and it's caught. That's Pear Main for about seven. 
Bobcats with the stop. Tonight's game, KLGN, brought to you by Lewiston State Bank. Locations all around the valley, and they sponsor our player of the game. Second and four. Calling for the ball. Covey. Great protection. Goes for all of it. It's a high floater, and it's picked off. Malik McCray has his fifth on the year. Yeah, they were trying to get the hobo. It tipped up in the air, and then the Bobcats ripped it down with McCray. It's what it is, in the end zone, I believe, so it should come out. Another interception tonight for the Bobcats. Covey hung that pass up. He did have great protection by the O-line. And the Bobcats were there by committee. McCray came away with it in the right place at the right time. And that's a big play. We've seen a slew of them. The Skyview defense does a number on the Bengals. Ball is returned to Beach and Company with a big lead and under six and a half minutes left. Now you just got to chew up the clock, get this game over with. And just don't want to have any miscues. Mason Ty, and they've done a great job keeping number 15 in check. Even though he keeps the legs churning, made something out of nothing. That's like a three-yard advantage on the run. Yeah, they're going to mark it on the 24. He just drug people for about four yards. The Bobcats and the Bengals. Don't forget the game next week, Thursday. We'll make the trip to Roy. In fact, the Royals will not that be a happy bunch. They had that ball game seemingly won and let it get away. Yeah, that will be interesting to see. That was their homecoming game, how deflated they will be after that tough win. And give Mountain Crest credit, they won that triple overtime game at home earlier against Fremont. And then they, they get this uh, victory tonight. Gritty Mountain Crest squad this year, and they'll be here for senior night yes. in a few weeks. Make your plans, and you're going to want to get here early. All right, second down and seven to go. Jamal Danes made a cut. Boy, this Brighton defense, I'm telling you, up front. They have, and now uh, there's another late flag. Tempers are short. Yeah, that time I don't know, but because of what happened earlier, they're going to be watching closer, and so that's where you get the personal foul. I don't know if that was as grievous as we've seen or as bad as we've seen tonight, but uh, that one just a push after the play. They had already blown the whistle, I guess, and so they call a dead ball personal foul. But I think that goes back to what happened with the ejection a little bit earlier. So they're watching a little bit closer, Brad. No marking off against the Bengals. And it's a big one of the 15-yard variety. And that'll be marked at the Skyview 38. Time left, 5 minutes, 23 seconds. Stick around for our post game show. John will lead us off with that. We'll hear from Coach and then some players. Don't you dare miss it. 5 10. We're in the fourth. Bobcats have come from behind to get this lead. They've dominated the second half offensively. The defense has been good too. The McCray pick. Giving the ball back to the Bobcats. Beats through it. That might have been picked. Nearly was by Permain. And that was just what Brighton needed. And that would have been the third interception thrown by Beach tonight. He's attempted 41 passes. I believe that's the most Beach has attempted all season, Brad. I don't remember no, I think him you're having right. anything more than that. But then again, he hasn't been playing a lot in the fourth quarter because the lead's been so big. Skyview's winning margin, 29 points a game. They've been allowing only 11, second best in the state. Here's a run, here's Jamal Danes. Look at that little jitterbug! And he is about an eight yard gain. Yeah, just protecting that football. He was running sideways that time, just keeping his feet churning. Almost got the first down. They mark it at the 47. JD with a good game. Yeah, nine yards. Boy, that was nice. 
under four and a half. KLGN. Brad and John show. Diana back at the ranch producing the affair. We thank her. And then we naturally thank you for making us a part of your Friday night, getting you set for the weekend. And a whistle and some more dirty laundry. I think it's a delayed game, it looks like, so on Skyview. Back them up five. 406. That's going to give me a chance to remind you that uh, if you're tired of a one size fits all approach to insurance and financial products, well, Lidwinski Financial takes the time for you. Number to call is 755-7606. And Dave Lewinsky is the guy to get a hold of. Bobcats up 17, facing third and six. And here's Beach. Keeps it, runs it, and they knock him down shy of the first down. He paid for that run. Yeah, got back the, about the five yards, about four yards is all he got. He got belted by Kimball. And so, what do you do here if you coach Ander? Punt it. And Mason Ty is in there. Garrison as well trips to the right. Far side. To mark the ball at the left hash. And now Beach goes into his usual formation. So Garrison can kick it out of here, which he does. And that's of the short variety. It's caught and returned across midfield by uh, Brighton up player yeah everyone just stopped for a split second and then the Brighton player took off luckily Skyview had a couple guys there to wrap him up but he gets it right back so a sh short punt and then uh, they re returned it pretty much back to the Skyview 45 one of the newspaper guys behind it, I think it was like a six yard punt well it, it probably was it didn't go anywhere <laughs> it went straight up okay Garrison might take a little ripping for that after the ball game. Yeah, his dad's going Hey, to. man, what the heck was that? I taught you better than that. And here's Lund, and he is tripped up. Heck of a play, Woody Udy. Boy, he came up in a hurry. And he, it's a good thing on Lund to hit him low because he goes 6'2", 220. When he gets those legs going and go ahead, especially north and south, he is trouble. Clock runs under 250. And here's Jensen, it's batted up. Heads up play, Christensen wanted a pick. Yeah, I'm trying to see who that was. I couldn't tell who it was that batted that down, but it was in the interior line and knocked it back in Jensen's face. I think Durant might have got a hand on that. Well, Durant. Yes, it was. He's already had the pick in the third quarter. And then he gets his pop on that one. Tarantula doing his thing. The big guy with the Ma and Pops and other family members. They go to every game. Love seeing them. Jensen facing third and eight. And he goes long. And it is too far for Pyramid. Well, the pass. Almost got there. Christensen broke through the double team that time. Got the to Jensen just as he threw the football. So it'll be fourth and eight. And so, 34 17, fourth and eight. Got to think the Bengals got to go here. Coach Ryan Bullitt and Bunch. At a region three, they're picked second behind the defending champion, Bingham Miners. Like we talked about uh, a couple of times in our pregame, it's a possibility these two could meet up in the playoffs. We'll see how it all shakes out. Bobcats two minutes, 40 seconds away from improving to 7-0. Jensen rolls left, throws off balance, under through, penalty flag. It's going to be P.I. on Skyview as the receiver was knocked to the ground. That's too bad. The pass went incomplete, but that's probably why it did. It, so it'll be 15 yards, automatic first down for Brian. 
Okay, John, for TV purposes, you want to announce our player of the game? Well, I, use? I, I say we go with uh, Bryce Mortensen tonight. That's who the Sky Bison, he moved up the charts. He, he'll be basically 18th in receiving yards for a career in the state of Utah. And he had a couple of touchdowns and the, what, 12 catches I have him for for over 140 yards. And those numbers, and he's very worthy of our Lewiston State Bank player of the game. Pass over the head of number 24, incomplete. So that'll bring up second down. Clock stopped at 228. Skyview football being brought to you in part by Summit Creek Sinclair right here in Smithfield. Also by Lauer Foods. Think Lauer's for all your favorite pre-cooked meat products. In the gun, Jensen. Hands off, Lund with space. He's free. He's inside the five. Heck of a run, Sione Lund. Yeah, big play as he gets inside the five. Over 20 yards on the run. See where they mark him down at the two, so. 25 yard run, his largest of the night. Bengals knocking at the door. Down 17. Hand off, Lund, and that's gonna be a Brighton touchdown. In the end zone, 34-23. So Lund finds Pater for the Bengals. 2-10, time remaining. It's been a long game, Johnny. Hey, I just remember the Highland game and I'll just, <laughs> with all the rain and the, the delay. The delay with lightning, so I'll take this one. Hey, yeah, we got to thank Mother Nature too because we uh, were concerned that this might get a little sloppy. And the point after by Williams, plenty of leg, good. 34 24. We'll come back for the Brighton onside kick in 30 seconds. You never know when you're going to get hurt. If that happens, our team at Mountain Star Healthcare is ready to help you get back to enjoying the activities you love. We provide award-winning orthopedic care at eight hospitals from Logan to Payson. You can count on our specialists. We'll discuss treatment options with you and work on your recovery together. With our help, you'll soon be back to doing what you love. Mountain Star Healthcare. What makes us better makes you better. Brad Stone and John Newbold. And uh, the Bengals and the Bobcats anticipating an onside kick. They have their good hands, people right there on that front line. They've got nine players within five yards. And here is the kick, not a good one. Yeah, didn't really get the big bounce that, that Brighton would have needed. Ty covered it up and uh, snagged it on the Bengals 49. So they'll just try to run out the clock here with 208 remaining and they have the lead by 10. Hard fought game. Two programs and uh, getting after it. This Bobcat team, highly touted by far and away their toughest test this year. And they're going to face an angry Roy team Thursday. And that's a regional and a big one. And Mason Ty is tripped up. Heck of a play at number 49, and he's a heck of a player. They call him Doug T. And that's going to be a timeout. And we will come right back in half a minute on the new Light FM. It's easy to buy insurance and forget about it, but the more you learn about your coverage, the more gaps you might find. Like how you thought you were covered for all this, when you're really only covered for this. I don't. Or how you may think you're covered for this, but not for this. Oh, no, no, oh, oh. For this, for this, or that. 
talk to farmers and see what gaps could be hiding in your coverage. I haven't. We are farmers. Bum, 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 bum. Give us a call at 752-9493. You'll be glad you did. Over the period of time, my hearing became worse and worse. Over the course of the years, I developed a, a hearing loss, and I would not be able to hear my employees talk to me sometimes. For Paul Dings and Cash Valley's integrity, his character, his background, his equipment, I would recommend him to anyone for a hearing aid specialist. Bobcats and the Bengals from Smithfield tonight. Heck of a crowd as you would expect with a game of this magnitude. And the Bobcats under two minutes away from improving to 7-0. But they've been put to the test. And here's Garrison Beach. First down. He's still going. He's inside the 15. This kid has been outstanding running the football. Yeah, good job by Garrison Beach, the just read option. He busted it up the middle and went for big yardage that time as we'll see where they finally mark him out of bounds. I believe the 13 yard line. So. How many yards do you have for number 10? Well, my computer had issues, so I, I'm trying to add it all up. I don't He's know. He's gotta be close to 100, maybe shy of that. About 100 yards. About 100 is what we're... 101, okay. Gentlemen from the Salt Lake Tribune, keeping close tabs, we appreciate that. And thank you for your coverage. Great stuff. All right, interior run by the Bobcats. 140, that's it. Time left in this ball game. And again, you can catch the replay at cashvalleydaily.com. Available beginning tomorrow. 34 to 24. And Garrison Beach passing and running. And he's been great pressure. You've got to give a lot of credit to the Brighton defense. But Garrison never also running the football. Huge plays. Throws, and it's caught by Holbrook. Broke a tackle. Lunges ahead, trying to get to the goal line. He's short, but a heck of an effort. And he got pushed out of bounds, I believe. Oh, they get, they're, they're gonna keep the clock running, though. Yes, they are. 45 seconds, Bobcats up 10. Now, last week, they took a knee when they were this close. What do you think, John? Do you call, them, call well, out the dogs? At this point, it doesn't matter. You're going to get the victory. I, I think he will. I mean, it, you, you don't want to, you know, you but never it's know a 10 point, but what the heck. Well, you never know when you're going to meet someone again down the line this year or a year after. So, More times than not, discretion is the better part of valor. We've got a timeout on the field. We'll keep it right here. And that'll give me a chance to throw this in. Advanced Heating and Air Conditioning and Logan reminds you when you need service for your heating unit, call them first. You'll be glad you did. 752-7272. Advanced Heating and Air Conditioning. John? Well, the Bobcats have done what they needed to do tonight. They have a lot of people down the Wasatch front wondering, and uh, you know, you gotta have a big test. You hadn't had one. And you came against this Brighton team top 10 team in the state ranked and uh, Skyview dominated the second half and that, that was the difference in the ball game. They got off to a slow start but when it, they needed it in the second half they got the stops and uh, looks like they're going to move to 7-0 and on the season. Yes it does. They're 21 seconds away and they will take a knee. And the players congratulate each other. A hard fought affair. Jake Pitcher being thrown out of the game. That could have some ramifications for next week. We'll uh, monitor that situation. But the Bobcats, you know, they're satisfied. But look, I mean, you'd think uh, 
They'd be jumping up and down, but they're thinking, hey, you know, we're just going to what? They've taken care of business. They very well could meet the Bengals again. And it just show you, shows you how much dedication they have and the big picture is that players now right at midfield, they'll shake hands. Heck of a ball game. The crowd liking this. They were concerned when their team got behind. You know, we talked about in our pregame about this tough test for the Bobcats. How would they react when you face a team the caliber of Brighton? Well, they passed the test. Maybe it's a litmus test to a certain degree. They faced adversity, they dealt with it, they persevered, and they end with a win, 7-0. Thank you very much. What was your favorite play of tonight's game? Um, I'd have to say Colton Durant's one-handed interception. That was pretty cool. Okay, how did you prepare for today's game? Um, it was just like every other week. We just practice hard, you know, uh, watch watch a lot of film and just prepare for what we had coming out for us, which was those guys. Well, you're the player of the week, so go enjoy some Angie's ice cream. Thank you. Sweet, thanks. The game of the week on the Valley Channel is brought to you by Icon Health and Fitness, changing lives with fitness innovation. Wendy's of Cache Valley, it's way better than fast food, it's Wendy's. Mountain Star Cache Valley Hospital, not bigger, just better. Lewiston State Bank, strong and vibrant for over a century. Cache Valley Electric, a tradition of excellence since 1915. New Smile Dental, experienced dental care. Camp Chef, the way to cook outdoors. Cache Valley Hearing and Audiology, bring back what you've been missing. LSS Insurance, personalized insurance coverage for your family and business. Lynn's Audio and Video, Cash Valley's Audio and Video Specialist. The Book Table, your family's bookstore for music, toys, and much more. Planet Fitness of Logan, no gym intimidation and only 10 bucks a month. Top of Utah Spas, check out the affordable Max Spas. The Logo Shop, we logo stuff, all kinds of stuff. And the Valley Channel, Cash Valley's TV station for over 25 years.